Five carries and four touchdowns. It's only about 3.9 yards per carry. It's been tough sledding. Yes, it sure has. It would be nice to get the get the, uh, the ground attack going tonight. Kickoff ready to go, and we are live in Fort Mitchell. Kick goes to Luke Erdman. He bobbles it down, picks it up at about the two-yard line. He's up to the 10, 15, 20, makes a man miss up to the 25, scoots out to about the 26-yard line, where Beachwood Tigers will take off first and 10. Yeah, nice job by uh, Luke there. He, he bobbled, bobbled it, brought it in quickly, and then had a actually really nice return sure considering all, all that to start. Uh, so good start and uh, not bad field position to start this first drive for Clay Hayden and his air, air raid team. Luke has been incredible in all phases, special teams, offense, defense. He's been fantastic. Clay Hayden comes out, leading uh, quarterback in this area, uh, again averaging 343 yards per game. He's in the shotgun set. Chase Flaherty lined up to his right, two receivers on either side. Snap to Hayden. Hayden looks, throws over. On a short slant out to Cusick, complete for a first down. Going to take it out to about the B-238. Yeah, just a great uh, great route run there by James Cusick. A little curl. He turned, and the ball was right there waiting for him. Just a, another great play by those two young men. I don't think Simon Kenton is going to try to pinch up on us. Or, I'm sorry. They're going to try to take away any deep balls on us today. So Clay's going to have to get his you know time bot and get the throws underneath starting out this game. First and 10, Beachwood on their own 38-yard line. Clay Hayden again in shotgun. Two receivers to his right. Chase Flaherty joins him in the backfield. Hands of Flaherty. Flaherty cuts back at about the 35. Picks up a nice block. That's about the 36 yard leg. Give him about six yards there on first down. Yeah, nice block right there on that run by Chase. Uh, beautiful block by Jack Meyer who, who trapped a Simon Ken defender. And Chase just kind of went right off of his uh, behind, so to speak, <laughs> and, uh, and, and cut inside off of him. So nice job. Jack Meyer played a tremendous second half last week. An up and coming uh, offensive line superstar in Northern Kentucky. Give him credit on that eight yards. Call it second and two. Hayden getting in the shot. Shotgun, three receivers now to his right, one to his left. He drops back, throws out a flat pass to Flaherty. Flaherty catches at the 47, takes it up to about midfield, 49 first down Tigers. Nice safe pass there, Murph, yes. out of the backfield to Flaherty. Yeah, and Chase, the last couple of weeks, he's shown a uh, you know really nice ability to kind of leak out of the backfield and, and bring those catches in. He comes in with seven catches, 84 yards. I'm sorry, nine catches for 87 yards in that touchdown to win the game yeah, last week. Huge. Um, so, you know, another added weapon in Chase's arsenal. Our favorite play, the throwback screen last week, Murph. Three receivers line up to the left here for Beachwood. Hayden again in the shotgun. He gets a snap, looks to his right, keeps looking to his right, has some pressure, sees the pressure, throws it, gets rid of it. Nice job by Hayden to get rid of that ball. Second and ten, ball on the 49. Yeah, nice. Uh, look, Simon Kenton brings some pressure over right guard and uh, causes that incompletion. Uh, nice job there by Landon Brown from his linebacker spot to uh, to pressure Clay. Um, and that's, I think we're going to see a lot of that. Look, I, Simon Kenton's staff, they watched last week. They saw the success that Dixie had bringing Brock Rice, uh, Carter Schroer, yeah. and, and those Dixie defenders from ev from different blitzes, angles. Yeah. Uh, so so we're going to expect to see a lot of that tonight. Not as much, but I do expect them to weave it into their defensive game plan. Second down to 10 Tigers on their own 49. Three receivers to Hayden, right, left, to two to his right in the shotgun. Takes his nap. He looks right, throws quickly back to the left, hits Fryman. Fryman tries to make a man miss and does. Picks up about four or five yards on that play. Had a tackler, had him for about a three-yard loss. He spun out of that tackle. Yeah, Tyler Fryman, uh, again, another weapon in this team. He comes into tonight, 13 catches, 232 yards, and two touchdowns. He averages 17.8 yards a catch and has proven himself to be as reliable as anybody. And he did a nice job making something yes. out of nothing there because uh, Simon Kenton had, they had a defensive back that came flying in there that almost blew that up for no gain or a loss. But... Tyler does what he always does. He, he makes things happen. Call it third down and seven. Now the ball is on the Simon Kenton 48-yard line. Four receivers to the right for Hayden. One to his left. In the shotgun again. He gets a snap. Has a blitz coming quickly, but picks it oh up yeah. and runs. Look picks at it this. Up first down. A great job by Clay Hayden. That was an undesigned play. He he had a blitz coming at him. Saw an opening. Got the first down. Nice yeah. run by Clay. Yeah, senior linebacker Mark Ober. He came uh, twisted around the, uh, the the left side of the uh, Pioneers defense and had a wide open shot at yeah. Clay. Clay saw it coming. Again, that vision is so good. Yes. And he was able to step up, find a little bit of an opening, and take it to the left side for a first down. Great job right there by Clay. Again, we're, we see things from Clay this year that we didn't quite see last year, and that's one of them, being able to move with the ball. An incredible poise as well, too, as he's always had his whole career here. Four receivers to his right, one to his left, and a shotgun again. He looks right, 
Throws over left. A nice completion there to Cusick. And he's at the 30, 20, 15, 10, Unbelievable. 4, 3, 2, 1 touchdown. Unbelievable. And a great Beautiful block. Yeah, just a great block by Xavier Campbell to open the door, so to speak. He just pancaked a Simon Kenton defender on the sideline. 40-yard touchdown by James Cusick, his fourth of the season. Uh, incredible blocking downfield as well by the uh, other wide receivers for Beachwood to open up Cusick. And that'll bring out Colson Lair for the extra point. Six to nothing, your score, Tiger score in the <laughs> it's opening that, drive. It's just that easy, 40-yard touchdown like it's nothing. Incredible yeah. offense. Great it, play call, and, and yes. again, these these these, uh, these screens that they're running with the wide receivers, such a such a surgical approach to it. Yes. Coaches have done a great job with the receivers. The point, the snap is down, the extra point is up, and Colson Lair remains perfect. Martali, 18 for 18, Col Colson Lair this year. He has just been amazing. Incredible. With 9-12 to go in the first quarter, Beach with seven, Simon Kent nothing. Thanks for tuning in right back after this. Back live on the campus of Beachwood High School. Beachwood takes a 7-0 lead on their first offensive possession with 9-12 to go. The 25-yard line, call it. Simon Kenton comes out first and 10 for their first possession. Expect some big boys on this offensive yeah, line they're, here they're for Simon big, uh, Led by UK commit Abba Selm, uh, who is one of the best offensive tackles to grace Northern Kentucky in quite some time. He is six foot five, 295 pounds, Mark Tally. Big matchup tonight for uh, the, off the front seven to go up against a uh, young man as talented as Abba Selm. That offensive line can eat a lot of groceries, yes. Murph. Clay Hayden on the season, 14 touchdown passes, two interceptions. Now tied for second in the state with that 14. Simon Kenton number. in the shotgun. He, well the quarterback keeps it and gets nowhere. Maybe one yard, but the Beachwood defense, it was a read option play. He faked it to the back, kept it, picked up maybe two yards, call it second and eight on the 27. Yeah, that was Brady Lee on the carry for uh, Simon Kenton. Uh, he comes into, the seat, into tonight, 22 carries, 87 yards, and a touchdown. Simon Kenton out on the sweep, picks up about two yards or maybe back to the line of scrimmage called it third down and eight yeah and that was Darrell Turner the junior tailback he's the leading ball carrier for Simon Kenton right now Simon Kenton running a no huddle offense Simon Kenton in the hurry up fakes a handoff quarterback keep the throws it across complete going to be real close to a first down think they're going to give it to him Murph the pass was complete to Grayson Harris out to about the 41 yard line first and 10 Simon Kenny yeah it was a nice job by Brady Lee again uh, coach Lucas loves Brady Lee and what he brings to the table yes Simon Kenny again hurry up handoff up the middle going to get about five or six yards this time uh, Simon Kenny again Murph like last week Dixie hurry up offense or we're going to have to be on our toes here yeah that was Darrell Turner uh, the leading rusher for uh, Simon Kenny again he comes in with 147 carries or uh, yards on 23 carries Simon Kenny in the shotgun again hands it to the back going through and a Oh. Just missed by a tackle by Xander Riggler. Excellent effort. He's going to pick up the first down, though, inside Beachwood territory, down about the 49-yard line. Yeah, does this look familiar, Mark Talley? Same, yeah. same approach from uh, from Simon Kenton that we saw last week with uh, Coach Burke with uh, in the Dixie Heights Colonels. They're just running the ball up the middle and, and, getting a, uh, and letting the running back make a decision on what to do and where to cut. Simon Kenton, quarterback, Brady Lee takes one throw, one's downfield, overthrow, but caught by number seven, Nathan Kitchens. Fantastic one and a catch inside Beachwood, 25 down to the 23. Yeah, you got to give uh, Kitchens credit. What a great catch right there. Great throw, great catch. He brings it in for a big gainer. And now Simon Kenton moving uh, into Beachwood territory with ease. 
in the shotgun again. Brady Lee gets a snap, fakes it, hands it off to his back. Number 10 goes around. Grayson Harris again might give him about four-yard pickup there inside the Beachwood 20 down to the 19. Yeah, you, you have to like what uh, what Coach Lucas is doing. All he's doing is he's he saw what worked against Beachwood last week, and he's going to do the same thing. Brady Lee in the shotgun keeps it this time, and he'll have nowhere to go. Maybe even a, maybe a loss of one. Call it third down. It's going to stay five. The ball at the Beachwood 19. Yeah, nice shot there by Jack Meyer and, and Chase Flaherty on the uh, on the teaming up on that tackle. Brady Lee has Darrell Turner in the backfield with him. Fakes it to him this time. Throws out to the right flat. Has a receiver, but nothing. A loss of about three. Great job by the Tigers defense. They're going to take that spot all the way back to about the 22. A loss of two on the play. Yeah, Talon Linder and uh, let's see. There's Talon Linder. He led the way on the tackle. Uh, I believe that was Maddox Kelly that assisted. Um, for Simon Ken, those plays, those those uh, throws to the right are going to be uh, right and left, or they're going to be tough. This this Beachwood defense is so good. They co they cover zones perfectly. Fourth and five, Simon Kenton's out to attempt the field goal by Cole Garnett, the junior kicker. This is going to be about a 37-yarder. The snap is down. The hold almost blocked. It might have enough. It's oh, wow. Doink, doink off the crossbar and bounces out. No good. Unbelievable. Man, do we have the uh, <laughs> we have the blessings of the, uh, of the field goal gods. Goodness gracious. Doink. Uh, just a, uh, it looked like it was going to go through, but uh, died at the last second. I think the wind coming in yeah. from that direction helped us out a little bit there, Mark Talley. And the Beachwood Tigers take over on their own 20 with 6 minutes and 15 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Beachwood has a 7 to nothing lead over Simon Kenton Pioneers. Thanks, everyone, again for tuning in on this Channel 5 Blitz Game of the Week. Beachwood coming out for their second possession. Great crowd on hand, standing room only, Murph. Yeah, great atmosphere, beautiful night. Man. This is this is what uh, high school football is all yeah. about right here. Three receivers line up to Clay Hayden's left, two to his right. He's in an empty set in the backfield. Snap comes to Clay, looks to his left, complete out to Urban. Urban gets it, and he might go. Fumbles, unfortunately. Lucky for us, it rolls out of bounds. Every time Urban touches the ball, Murph, he can score. Yeah, a great job. And, you know, the, the thing that I think that leads him sometimes losing possession of and fumbling is he's fighting. He does yeah. not go down easily. He had three or four Pioneers trying to bring him down there. He kept churning those legs, and uh, and the ball popped out. But, uh, you know, just a, a great effort right there. And, uh, and another, we got lucky there again. That's two. Yeah, yeah. I put those in the got lucky uh, <laughs> section here and put two checks. First down, uh, first down and 10, Beachwood ball on their own 37-yard line. Clay Hayden again in the shotgun with Chase Flaherty in the backfield to join him. Three receivers to his right, one to his left. He gets a snap, looks left, got some pressure now, rolls out to his right, has some time, sends somebody deep, and it's Erdman. He throws it deep, Erdman under pressure. Fans. No flag, wow. I can't believe that. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Well, I, I will say in, def in defense of the official there, he had the uh, Simon Kenton defender was deceptive about his uh, yeah. his, his pass interference there. Yeah. He, uh, the, the defender's back was uh, to the official, and I don't think the official saw the uh, jersey grab there. Yeah. Luke had about a step on him. It's going to be second down and 10, the ball on the beach with 37. I think that was uh, Clay Hayden's first incompletion of this game. Clay Hayden comes into this game one of the best quarterbacks in the state of Kentucky, ranked third in most major yeah, categories. Just, he's just been incredible, incredible, and I expect him to make a bi another big play here on this drive. Two to his left, three to his right. Blitz coming. Clay picks it up and throws it up, and again had a big blitz coming. Incomplete pass ball down about the 42 is incomplete, but Clay had pressure in his face. A good job just to get rid of it. Yeah, another another nice job of uh, Simon Kenton's defensive coordinator, uh, you know, to, you know, doing exactly what worked for Dixie last week. This time, though, what we're seeing is instead of coming up the middle, they're, they're coming off the edges. Yeah. So Clay, Clay hasn't seen a whole lot of that, uh, but they're bringing their small, speedy guys around the edges, yeah. and, uh, and it's causing a little bit of chaos for Clay. That guy for Dixie was a problem last week. Brock, Brock Rice. Rice. Yes, sir. Wow. Brock Rice. And Grant Johnson, the Good other uh, defensive end, they were they were outstanding. Third down and Big ten. Play. Third down and ten. Hayden shotgun. Three to his right, two to his left. Again, has some time. Good job by the line. Now he's getting some pressure, and he's going to go down. Nice job there by uh, Simon Ken getting some pressure on Clay. It's going to be a loss all the way back to the 22-yard line. Looks like the punt team is coming out. Yeah, that sophomore linebacker Braden Schoborg, again, uh, you know, a, a rush off the edge, uh, and he did a great job, uh, you know, showed a, f a flash of speed there at the end to bring Clay down. Uh, again, Simon Kenton, a really nice stop uh, on that series by, by the Pioneers. They needed it. James Cusick back to punt. He'll be punting from his own 10-yard line. 
Luke Scheiber for Simon Kenton lining up at about his own 40. The snap is back. Q6 punt is away. It's going to bounce it about the 43. Take a little Beachwood bounce. Get inside the 40. Knocked out of bounds at the 39 where Simon Kenton will take over for their second possession. First and 10. 5 9 to go in the first quarter. Beachwood leading Simon Kenton 7 to nothing. Thanks everyone again for tuning in. Beachwood Tigers coming to this game. Uh, three and zero oh. next week, Murph. Oh, we're going to get the first RPI of the year. Yeah, yeah. Bat and Cuff Calf Week coming up, Yo. so it's going to be a big week. Uh, on yes, it is. Northern uh, Dixie Highway. Yes. Coming Catholic three and zero, oh, led by Willie Rodriguez yeah. and Evan Pitzer. They have looked sensational this year. They take on Dixie tonight. That'll be an interesting That'll game be, to yes. see that to see be. what that looks like. We'll check scores here shortly. First and ten. Simon Kenton comes out. Their quarterback. Brady Lee lines up at about his own 35. Keeps it. Now throws it oh. right tipped at the dangerous, last second. Dangerous. Yeah, excellent defensive play there by Sean Souter. Yeah, Simon Kenton right there. They got uh, they got very lucky uh, with the uh, the backwards lateral. If that one bounces forward, that's a Beachwood touchdown. No doubt. And he faked as if he was going to run and then stopped and uh, stood up and threw it over to his left. And Sean Souter knocked it down. Second down and ten. Simon Kenton now ball on their own 39. Second possession of the game. Beachwood leading 7 to nothing. 5.04 to go in the first quarter. Lee rolls out to his right, looking right. Throws downfield and complete by Carter Blades. And Carter's going to have a first down marketed at about the Beachwood 46. First and 10, Simon Kenton. Yeah, nice throw by Lee. Nice catch by Carter Blades. He comes into tonight the leading receiver for uh, Simon Kenton. Five catches, 82 yards, and a touchdown. Here we go again. Brady Lee hands it. Obno keeps it this time. Throws out to the left. Wide open, Grayson Harris. Grayson at the 40, 30. He might go. Be nice play to knock him out of bounds there by James Cusick. He might have gone. Yeah, and right there, Simon Kenton is just using Beachwood's aggression uh, in, in their favor, and they're, they're letting Lee make decisions. Yeah. Uh, you know, it, and he's doing a really good job with it right now, but here's a penalty on the ground. Thank goodness here it's going to slow him down a little bit because Simon Kenton was on a roll. They have a false start called on Simon Kenton. That ball, it's going to take it outside the Beachwood 30. They'll spot it at about the 31. It's going to be first and 15 now, so that'll slow them down. Murph just having a penalty. That'll yes, really slow him down for a bit. Matchup of the night, left tackle Abbasone versus our own Nick Alexander, defensive end. Brady Lee gets a snap and keeps it again, and a nice job by the Beachwood defense coming in on might be Chase Flaherty. Chase Flaherty from his linebacker position. Great tackle. Yeah, Chase, uh, you know, we saw last week, you know, the first two weeks, we didn't see a whole lot of him defensively, but, the, you know, last week I uh, played a really strong game against Dixie and uh, had, has had a nice first quarter here. Brady Lee again in the shotgun, three receivers to his right. He hands it up the middle. That is caught by a Darrell Turner. Darrell takes it inside uh, almost to about the 25. Call it, it's going to be third down and maybe 10 now. Back to the original line of scrimmage. And again, hurry up. Brady Lee in the shotgun. Again, rolling to his right. Looking to his right. Throws into the end zone. Has some coverage in there. The beach with the fender fell down. Touchdown, Simon wow. Kenton. Listen, you got to tip your cap. Just a, a great play right there by Brady Lee. And, uh, you know, a tremendous catch in the corner of the end zone by Grayson Harris. Yeah. Great job by the Pioneers, and they're about to they're have a chance to tie this game up, Mark Talley. Yes, sir. Extra point kicker Cole Garrett comes out for Simon Kenton. 7-6 to six is your score. Simon Kenton scores on their second drive of the game. Snap is down. Kick is up. Ooh, almost blocked. And... It is good with 4.03 to go in the first quarter. Beachwood 7, Simon Kenton 7. Thanks, everyone, again for tuning in. We'll be right back after this. Go Tigers. Hey, everyone. This is Soundro. I hope you enjoy using my tracks. If you like what you hear, go premium today, and I promise to make lots more tracks just for you. We are back live on the campus of Beachwood High School, Beachwood 7, Simon Kenton 7. Apologize about the music. Blame that on Alphabet, the parent, parent company of Google <laughs> and uh, YouTube. We have to play 
uh, non-patent, patent-friendly music. So uh, sorry about that, folks. But oh, wait, right now Simon Kenton doing a number on our defense, yeah. and, and they're doing yeah. they're doing it by with a no huddle, a quicker one than we saw last yep. week with Dixie, and it's working because it's got Dixie's or, or it's got our defense kind of off kilter. Urban and Cusick deep for the Tigers. Urban fields it at the eight, brings it out to the twenty. 25, he cut back to his right. He thought he had a hole there, almost got through. Takes it out to about the 27, first and 10 Tigers. Yeah, nice special teams play right there by Simon Kenton, number 50. Let's see who that young man is. That was a really nice play. That's Stuart, Stuart Campbell. Campbell. Nice play by him. <clears throat> so now this drive, the I'm sure Bob Burnett had words with his offensive lineman and we might yeah. see some schematic changes to bring in some extra protection. But again, Simon Ken doing a great job of getting into the backfield and getting to Hayden in order for Beachwood to not fall behind in this one. They're going to have to stop. And right now we see Tyson Hergett in at tight end on the right side. Tigers come out in the shotgun, first and 10 on their own, 27. Chase Flaherty lines up with Clay Hayden in the backfield. Snap the clay, hand off the Flaherty up the middle, picks up about two or three tough sledding yards, maybe out to about the 30. Call it second down and eight here for the Tigers. 3.46 to go in the first quarter. Clock ticking, 7-7 seven is your score. Yeah, nice and a nice job there by uh, by Chase to pick up uh, you know, something that yeah. might have looked like it could have been blown up in the backfield. Uh, it's Pioneer middle linebacker Avon Bombs, one of the uh, best linebackers in the area. He blitzed over right guard Jack Meyer. Uh, uh, Chase saw that and cut inside quickly off the blitz, uh, able to uh, pick up those yards. But again, Sime Kenton bring the blitz that time up the middle. Call it second down and eight ball spotted on the Beachwood 29. Clay Hayden in the shotgun. Chase Flaherty joins him. Two receivers each side. Clay drops back. Throws it out. Of there we go. Flat to Flaherty. He's got some room and some blockers. He's at the 40-43. A nice open field tackle there by Hayden Blair, I believe, for Simon Kenton. Or 24, I'm sorry. Avon Baum's great tackle because Flaherty had some room. Yeah, football 101 right there. When, you, when you're playing a team that's got a little bit of momentum, you know their defense is going to come out, and they're going to be aggressive, and they're going to be charging, and they're going to be blitzing, yeah. which, which they saw on the on the first first play there, first screen over it. <laughs> and, and Chase is just, uh, you know, he's, he's become such a, a – an effective receiver out of the backfield. He did a great job with it. First down and 10. Beachwood on their own, 45. to 42 to go, clock running, first quarter. Beachwood 7, Simon Kenton 7. This is Beachwood's third possession of the game. Yeah, and right now, double tight end here. Tyson yes. Hergett and Luke Sleet. Hayden in the backfield, hands it to Flaherty. Again up the middle, gets go. a nice yardage, some good blocks by the O-line. Takes it out to about the 50-yard line for a five-yard pickup, second and five. Yeah, nice job there by Chance Ball at center and Nick, Alexan Nick Alexander at left guard to, uh, you know, get control in the trenches there, move those pine Pioneer linemen back a little bit to create a, create a running lane. And there are some big boys on that Pioneer offense and defensive line. Trust me when I tell you that. Second down and five, ball spotted at midfield. 2.03 to go, clock running, first quarter. Beachwood coming out for their third possession here. Senior senior nose tackle Cohen Schmidt, 6'1", 330 pounds, playing next to Abba Selm, 6'5", 295. Clay Hayden in the shotgun. That's some beef. One back to each side. He hands it off this time. It's not Flaherty. I believe it was Erdman. Erdman might have picked up about two yards. Call it third down and three. Now the ball spotted all the way down to Simon Kenton, 48. Yeah, I like it. Show him something different. Yeah. Uh, Luke Erdman uh, comes in with five carries, 55 yards, 11 yards a pop. Uh, yeah. He can definitely tote the rock, and, and, and I think we might see a little bit more of that tonight. Look for the Wildcat formation that we saw in game one against McNicholas, sure. McNicholas that we have not seen since then. Clay Hayden gets a play from uh, offensive coordinator Greg Hergett. We're at 118 to go, first quarter clock running. A third down and three here for Beachwood. Ball spotted on the Simon Kenton 48. Two receivers line up to Clay Hayden's right, one to his left. Chase Flaherty joins him in the backfield. Simon Kenton showing blitz. The pitch out to Flaherty, he's on a sweep. He gets some good blocks and he's go. First down inside the 40 all the way down about the 30. Nine, they're going to call it first down Tigers. Nice run. And again, how many times over the last seven years have we talked about the effectiveness of Beachwood wide receivers blocking? Yes. Um, and sometimes it doesn't even have to be a, pa a powerhouse pancake block. Sometimes you just got to get in somebody's way. Yeah. Right there, Talon Linder, he was able to get in the way of a Simon Kenton defender to open up a little bit of room for Chase there. So Chase gets to the second level because of Maddox Kelly and, J and Jack Meyer and then Talon Linder with the assist on the edge. And we were talking about it earlier. Talon has had a fantastic season. Yeah. And on offense yes. and defense, he's been fantastic all year. third down machine. No doubt about it. First and 10, Tigers on the Simon Kenton, 39, two receivers line up to Clay's left, one to his right, Chase Flaherty in the backfield. 
Snap to Clay, throws it, student body left. Oh, Flaherty on an outside left sweep. He's down to the 35, 30, cuts back in, a first down again inside the 30. It's good to see Beachwood be able to run the ball here, Murph. I think they're gonna give him a first down, they are. First down in Tigers at the Simon Kenton 29. Yeah, and, and, and again, on this drive, we're getting great blocking on the edges. Um, you know, we brought in Tyson Herget to, to uh, play a tight end spot. So a little bit more protection. We're, t we're attacking the outside a little bit more. That's just what the doctor ordered for this offense. Chase Flaherty looking really sharp here in this first quarter. Sure is, has a nice run so far. Clay Hayden gets a play from Greg Herget. Beachwood comes out again. Clay's been in the shotgun almost every snap. He's going to have two receivers to his right. A tight end, Tyson Herget in as well, too. Double tight this time. Yeah, the snap. Hand off to Flaherty again. Up the middle, sledding a little bit tougher this time. They might give him one yard down about the 28, second and nine, call it. Yeah, and right there, Cohen Schmidt, the uh, the massive nose tackle for the Pioneers, who's just so good in the trenches at, uh, at, at run stuffing. He did a great job right there against the middle of our offensive, offensive line to limit that carry to a yard. And that's going to be the end of the first quarter with your score, Beachwood 7, Simon Kenton 7. Thanks, everyone, again for tuning in. Right back after this, go Tigers. You've got 275 across the front <laughs> line on offense and, you know, two, 290 across the front on defense. No doubt about it. Clay Hayden getting in the shotgun. Second quarter just getting underway. Call it second on the nine for the Tigers on the Simon Kenton 28. Two to his right, two to his left. Clay Hayden quickly throws out to Urban to his right. Urban down to the 35. He cuts outside again. Makes a man miss. Gets real close to a first down. We'll see. I think it's going to be a little bit short. He will be. Yeah, it's going to be about third and two down to about the Simon Kenton 21. Yeah, great job there by Erdman. Great play call, just a, a little swing play, pass to Erdman, one of the one of the speediest receivers in uh, in the state. Yeah. Uh, so just put the ball in his hands. No great doubt. things happen, you know. And, and I think that because I think that the growing trust and belief that he is such a game changer, I think you're going to see a lot, especially as we get closer to the end zones. I think you're going to see Greg Hurd and Jay Volker use Luke in different ways here tonight. No doubt about it. He's a dangerous weapon. Two receivers, Talon Linder and James Cusick, line up the Clay's right. Left, I'm sorry. Flaherty joins him in the backfield. Hand off to Flaherty. He is Ooh. net at the line of scrimmage. Might have even been a loss of one. I think it will be. It's going to probably make this a fourth and three now. The ball is spotted out at about the Simon Kenton 23. Yeah, that was, again, Mark Ober, uh, senior uh, outside linebacker. You know, uh, over the years, the one thing that stands out from this team, other than, you know, Ch uh, Chase Crone and uh, the offensive defensive lines, is they always have one or two really outstanding linebackers. Yeah. And tonight, they've got two in Mark Ober and Ava Mobs. Sure do. Almost call it a fourth and four now. The ball is spotted on the 22 of Simon Kenton. Clay Hayden gets to play from Greg Herget. Comes back in, see what the Tigers do here. They've tried to run the ball a little bit on this possession and, uh, and have done all right. Empty backfield now, though. Two receivers, two. Clay's right through to his left. Fourth down and three. Clay gets a snap. He looks left, looks left again. Pump fakes, throws out there wide open. There we are. Touchdown, Martell. 10, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 touchdown for Iman on fourth and three. That was, uh, that was outstanding. There are a couple things on that play. One, the pump fake, yeah. which he's used so effectively his entire career. 
uh, he was able to to pump fake and find a wide open uh, Tyler Fryman in, in the uh, in the curl zone down there on the left side. Yeah. But the protection, you, yes. you, I'm not sure if you saw Mark, but Simon Kenton was looping and twisting all over the defensive line, and our guys did a great job of protecting to give Clay time to find Tyler. They sure did. Colson Lair out for the extra point. Snap is down. Kick is up. And oh, oh, up right yes. in and bounced out. So, with 10 minutes and 14 seconds left to go in the second quarter, Beachwood 13, Simon Kenton 7. Thanks, everyone, again for tuning in. Right back after this. Go Tigers! Over the we miss Kelly course. on the deck here tonight. Yes, the kickoff by Colson, a nice kickoff inside the 10 to the 5. Unfortunately, uh. bounces out of bounds. A good kick, though. It will go out of bounds, and uh, Simon Kent will take over first and 10. Uh, so just a couple numbers notes there. That is uh, Tyler Fryman's third touchdown catch of the year. So freshman. Uh, but for Clay Hayden, he now has 15 yeah. touchdown passes versus only two interceptions. Wow. He's now tied with Cole Hodge from Christian Academy Louisville. Uh, for the lead in the state of Kentucky. That oh. should tell you how impressive what Clay Hayden in this offense is doing this season, just how impressive it really is. Simon Ken's going to take over first and 10 on their own 35. 10 minutes and 14 seconds left to go in the first half. Beachwood 13, Simon Kent not a 7. Thanks for tuning in. Brady Lee in the shotgun again. Um, Darrell Turner lined up to his right. Lee gets it, throws to his left, and it oh, was intercepted by the Tigers, but caught at the 50, 45, 40, knocked out of bounds at the, about the 27-yard line. Can't see who caught that ball. Nice play, almost picked off, though. An excellent effort by the yeah. Beachwood secondary to pick that ball off. And, Mark, that was a name that will ring out in Northern Kentucky for the next four years. Tyson Weaver, one of the best freshmen in the state of Kentucky, an outstanding receiver. Brady Lee in the shotgun again, hands it, hands it to Turner. Up the middle, has a hole inside the 15, all the way down about the uh, 12, I'm sorry, 13. They're going to give him a first down. They are. First and 10, Simon Kenton at the Beachwood 13. They're going hurry up again. Hurry, Brady Lee in the super shotgun. hurry up. Yeah. Hand off to Turner again, this time gets inside the 10 to about the 8. Call it second down and 5. Yeah, and right now, just the, again, this massive, super talented offensive line is, is just taking over in the trenches right now. We're not quite used to that, but we're not used to offensive lines this big yeah. and this talented. Second down and 5, ball spotted on the 8. Lee in the shotgun again, Turner to his right, hands it to Turner. Turner cuts back at about the 5, doesn't get to the 5. They'll spot him right at about the 6. Third down and four, call it now. They can get to the Beachwood three and get a first down. Yeah, right guard Jake Puthoff, uh, senior. How about this? Uh, the size on this young man, six foot three, 295, trapped on that play. Yikes, Lee in the shotgun again. Turner gets it, oh. slips. Fortunately for us, or he might have gotten yeah, it. I think that was a touchdown if he didn't if he didn't trip. He might have gotten a first down, see where they spot it. They're going, it's going to be real close. And this is the, the Mark, this is the challenge with a 3-4 a defense. It's, it's really tough. Uh, you know, in situations like this to run that kind of defense. They gave him a first down on a call, the first and goal now. Lee rolls out, just scrambles to his left, gets Ooh, a big stick. Hit, no, he got in. The end zone. He got Hunts in. Down. A great hit right at the goal line there by a Beachwood defender, but he, he spun out of it and got in for the Simon Kenton score. How about that? That yeah. quick. Uh, yeah, a minute and... A minute and 20 seconds, and Simon Kenton marches right down the field against the Tigers with the chance to take the lead. Out for the extra point now is Cole Garnett. 13 13's your score, 8.53 to go in the first half. Thanks everyone again for tuning in. The snap is down, kick is up, almost blocked again, and he made it. With eight minutes and 53 seconds left to go in the first half, Simon Kenton 14, Beach with 13. Thanks everyone again for tuning in. Right back after this. Go Tigers.
touchdown for Brady Lee was his second on the season. He ran that right behind Big Abbasel. Sure did, and the kickoff is coming to Cusick. He'll field it at the 15. Takes it to the 20, picks up a couple blocks, cuts it to the 30, out to about the 32, first and 10. Tigers flag comes in late. Might be a face mask. We'll see what we get here. The flag came in real late. Ball is spotted now on the beach with 32. Tigers will come out for their fourth possession of the game, trailing 14 to 13. And it's been a real fun game. Yeah, Landon Brown on the uh, special teams tackle. And no, they picked the flags picked the up. Flag up. Yep. All right. <coughs> so again, momentum swings back towards Simon Kenton. And, and uh, you know, got to be careful here. Again, you know, s stick with what's been working. Let's, uh, let's try to keep them off balance and get the ball outside to Flaherty, to Erdman. Beachwood comes out first and 10 from their own 32. Clay Hayden in the shotgun. He's got Flaherty and Cusick to his left. Erdman and Fryman to his right. Clay looks over the, the defense. Gets a snap, has some pressure coming, sees it, yeah, doesn't see it. Same it. Thing. Number 24 yeah. got him there. Avon Bombs really hit him hard. Yeah, one of the best linebackers in Northern Kentucky. And again, you see right there what uh, Ward Lucas and his staff are doing is they're just, they're, they keep bringing their small, quick outside linebackers. They just keep bringing them around the edge and, and, and beach. We're just not picking them up right yeah. now. And they're just doing a fantastic job. Again, this is not a team that is has is shown a great ability to, to rush the passer, but they watch what happened last week against Dixie, and they are uh, capitalizing on that information. Call it an eight-yard loss, second and 18. Ball spotted all the way back at the beach with 24. Hayden again in the shotgun. Flaherty to his right. Three receivers to his right. Clay rolls to his right. Has some pressure coming up behind him. Let's it go. Caught at yeah, about the 39-yard nice. line. Talon Beautiful Linder. throw by Talon Leonard. Clay Hayden on the great throw, Talon Linner on the great catch. Yeah, Talon comes in tonight, five catches, 98 yards, uh, and it just seems like he's, it seems like he comes in with bigger numbers than that because he's been so valuable. Yes. And you see right there, that was a big Huge catch right play. there to give us a chance to get a first down. Third down and three now. The ball spotted all the way out on the beach with 39. Seven minutes, 36 seconds left to go in the first half. Simon Kenton 14, Beachwood 13. And once again, we saw the same outside loop blitz by, yeah. uh, by outside linebacker Mark Ober. No, Braden Schoberg that time. Let's see if they do it again here. Two receivers line up to Hayden's left, one to his right. Chase Flaherty joins him in the backfield. He looks over for the check play from Hergett. And here comes up the middle. Blitz up the middle, comes in. Flaherty gets it. Going right. to pick up maybe one or two yards after about the 40. They ran right at the blitz. It's going to be fourth down and two. Ball on the beach with 40. See what they do here, Murph. I don't think that we're going to punt. There looks I like the offense is staying out. I think you have to punt here with Let's how well, with the momentum swinging towards Simon Kenton. Uh, great job there by uh, this, the two uh, impressive linebackers, Bombs and, and Ober. They just blitzed the A-gaps, which we saw all last week, and they and they nailed Flaherty for We're the going game. for we're it. Go. I, the big boys are lined yeah, up. Kenton is under center. I formation behind him. Timeout. Timeout, Timeout Simon call. Kenton on the fourth and two. Beachwood lined up. How to go for it. We'll stay right here with you. Six minutes, 37 seconds left to go in the first half. Beachwood coming out for a fourth and two on their own 40. Simon Kenton called their first timeout of the game. Simon Kenton leads 14 to 13. Simon Kenton has been able to come out here, Murph, and dominate the scrimmage line, push us around a bit, score a couple touchdowns, but it's a close game and it's been very exciting. Yeah, right now they're just they're dominating in the trenches and their skill position, skill position players are, are, are playing really well. Yeah. Um, you know, Darrell Turner's doing a good job, uh, you know, carrying the ball. Brady Lee's making great decisions. Yeah. Uh, now, will that last for the whole game? It, yeah. You know, who knows? But, you know, this is the time uh, Beachwood needs to it'd be nice to, before the half, take the lead over. Uh, but Simon Kenton playing really well tonight. This is this is the way they played in the second half versus Dixie. Yeah. Uh, you know, against Dixie, they were uh, trailing, I believe it was 19 nothing in halftime. They came back and, or it was either 19 nothing or 19 7. They came back and won that game 27 yeah. to 19. Um, so they're, they're hitting on all cylinders right now. Fourth down and two. Tigers are talking it over. They lined up in the I formation to go for it. Simon Kenton called a timeout. See what they if they come out and punt now or not. Something tells me they're going to try to get this first down. I we will see. a now, hundred times out of a hundred here. Let's see here. Hayden is coming out. We're yeah, in the I, I, I formation. Xander Riggler lines up as fullback. Chase Flaherty at tailback. The big boys are all in. Hayden come on. under center. Come on. Here comes the blitz up the middle. Linebacker drops back. They might just try to get him to jump here. It looks like they might be doing that. Clay Hayden didn't snap. The, well, the ball was not snapped to him. They threw a flag 
Is it on oh. Simon Kenton? What would this be? They're, the Simon Kenton guys are acting like it's on them. We'll see what the flag is. And it's going to be a first down for Beachwood. Holy moly, wow. we'll take it. Whatever happened, we'll figure it out here for you. We'll take it. They're going to spot the ball at the Beachwood 45 and give us a first down. The, the uh, field judge in the back threw his flag. I don't know if it was for yelling, if the Simon Kenton safeties were yelling. Not I, I'm sure. not sure. I'm not sure what that well, was. Well, first down Tigers Either on way. the 45. We'll take first it. down. Here we go. Hayden in the shotgun. Chase Lurley lines up to his left. Two receivers to either side of him. We'll take that one, Murph. The snap comes back to Clay. Looks to his left. Still looks to his left. Here, Here we go. That's a touchdown, Martell. 30, 20, a touchdown. 10, 3, 2, 1. Luke Erdman, touchdown. 56 yards. Luke Erdman, the best receiver in the state of Kentucky. He scores again. Speed kills Martelli. When you have a, one of the best track runners, one of the best sprinters in the state of Kentucky that can play football the way that young man does, great things happen. A great play call. Luke just takes the ball into the end zone. That's what he does. Touchdown number seven on this young season for Luke Erdman. Unbelievable, Andy Mack. That kid can flat out run. Wow. Man. 56 yards, I believe. Yes, sir. Colson Lair out for the extra point. Snap is back, kick is up, and it is right there down the middle with 6.27 left to go in the first half. Beachwood 20, Simon Kenton 14. Thanks for tuning in. We'll be right back after this. Go Tigers. Luke Erdman on fire. Darrell Turner, what a play by Irvin. Uh, seven touchdowns in wow. four games. I, I mean, that's just, that's, that's, that's like legendary. No, <laughs> that's no, no wide receiver numbers. Wow. Scheiber gets a kick. He uh -oh, hit the 20, 25, 30. Yeah, there's a there's hole. There's a hole. Yeah. Thank goodness. He's tackled it about the 47 of Beachwood, but that's coming all the way back. Yeah, they're going to call a hole. Patrick Weaver, the uh, outside guy for the Tigers, was doing a great job containing, trying yeah. to force the kicker in, and the, and the uh, Simon Kenton, uh, blocker just grabbed some jersey and, and tried to push him and uh, was right in front of the official. Bad choice by the uh, Pioneer special teams guy, but we benefit once again. No doubt. It's going to be spotted from the 33, so it's going all the way back to the Simon Kenton okay. 23 where it'll be first and 10. That touchdown now gives Clay 16 uh, on the year, and wow. I believe that puts him uh, f uh, in first place by himself in the state of Kentucky. Uh, I mean, he's unbelievable. If you don't get a chance to come down here to a, a game and see him throw a football. Yeah. The ball just explodes off of his arm. It's incredible. Cole Hodge for Cal was leading the state coming into tonight, but they are playing our friends from LCA, and yeah. they have not scored at the end of one, so he now leads the state. Simon Kenton comes out first and 10. Lee hands off to Durrell. He's got some holes. He's at the 30, 35, oh 40. Oh, goodness. Come on, Fry. Get him. Good job, Tyler Tyler Fryman did an excellent job cutting that angle down. Turner takes it all the way down to the Beachwood 40, first and 10, Simon Kenton. Yeah, so right there, that was uh, I, that was just great offensive line play right there. Uh, a great trap from the uh, left guard coming around, and then the uh, the center and right guard with great seal blocks. Again, Lee in the shotgun. Turner goes out to his left. Lee throws a slam across the middle. There we go, intercepted. The ball was tipped by a great defensive play again by Sean Sauter. And Sh Sean Sauter comes out the pick. Talon yeah. tipped it, man. Great yeah. job. Yeah, big play right there by Talon Linder and Sean Souther to bring that in. Wow, big yeah. turn over there. That's exactly, that. it's exactly uh, the, the, the point that we needed something like that to happen, you know, with that big run and, and yeah. that, you know, that looked like really that should have been caught by by, uh, by Simon Kenton's receiver. But here we go, a chance to, uh, to make this a 
12, 13 point game. Great job by the defense. First and 10, Beachwood. They're going to come out on their own 16. Six minutes even left to go in the first half. Clay Hayden in the shotgun with Chase Flaherty joining him in the backfield. Two receivers line up to either Man, side of I'm him. If I'm Simon Kenton, I'm dropping another defensive back. I, yep. This is. Draw play to go. Flaherty and there's all get behind the group. Good job, Jack Meyer. Good job out there by Jack yeah. Meyer blocking. Takes it all back to the 31st and 10 Tigers. Yeah, great job by Jack Meyer. If you're going to have a draw play, you have to have your center or, or one of your, your guards come out and make a, a, a great open field seal block on, on a linebacker. And right there, that was a great block by Jack Meyer to, to allow. Uh, uh, you know, a few extra yards. Great play, another great play call. First and 10 Tigers on their own 30 yard line. Five minutes, 35 seconds left to go in the first half. Clock ticking. Beach with 20, Simon Kenton 14, and another barn burner yeah. football game. Murph. Three receivers line up to Hayden's left, one to his right. Hands again to Flaherty. Flaherty met hard, maybe gets one or two yards out to about the 32. Call it second and eight. Yeah, nice job by the uh, defensive front for the Pioneers there. It looked like Chase might have been able to pick up a little bit extra on that, but, uh, you know, the really talented Mark Ober, out left outside linebacker right now, he came diving in and wrapped up uh, Chase and brought him down pretty easily. It's nice to see, though, Beachwood's been able to run the ball a little better this Absolutely, week. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, definitely. It's good to see. Second down and eight now, ball spotted on the beach with 32. Three receivers, Talon Lindner, Cusick, and Urban come to his left, two to his right, empty backfield. 4.45 to go, first half clock running. Hayden gets a second and eight snap, throws quickly out to Urban to his left, it gets some good blocks, and Urban cuts outside, unfortunately tripped up for a two yard loss. Excellent blocking out there, but once Simon Kenton got through, I believe that was again uh, Ober Murph. He came well, in a nice tackle. To actually, it was two, two different players. It was uh, Jack Giordano, I believe. Uh, maybe, okay, maybe it was Ober. Ober and uh, Col uh, Colton Farsing uh, playing a safety position for wow. the Pioneers. First time we've called his name tonight. That was a great play sure was. Uh, to prevent Erdman from uh, making anything happen there. And I'll tell you right now, this uh, defensive staff for Simon Kenton and these safeties are paying very close yeah. attention to Luke Erdman. Third down and 10, Tigers. Ball spotted on their own 30. Chase Flaherty joins Clay Hayden in the backfield. Hayden gets that blitz coming quickly. Throws it out to Flaherty in the flat. Gets back Ooh. to the line of scrimmage. Damn. Clay took a big hit after he threw that to Flaherty. He's up. It's going to be fourth down and 10. Fourth down and 11. Call it loss of one. That guy came on from the outside, Murph, with no one blocking. Yeah, he I was right in on Clay. Yeah, that was Luke Scheiber, defensive back corner for uh, Simon Kenton. Again, I, you know, I love the game plan here by Simon Kenton's defensive staff. They're just saying, look, we're, we're probably in a major, a major hole trying to defend this air raid. We're going to bring blitzers from everywhere. James Cusick gets the punt away. It's going to be fielded at the 38. He bought he, he he it. it. He got, got it. it. He's got it. Bob of the punt. Beachwood guys are right on it. Beachwood ball, first and 10 at the Simon Kenton 39. Yeah, just a, a, a fantastic special teams play. That's Ty Shore, senior wow. Ty Shore with the great special teams play. Again, now we've got a chance, an even better chance now, to go up 12 or 13 points here, which is get the ball in the end zone here before the half. We always talk about the three T's, more of time of possession, set down conversion, turnovers. That's yep. Simon Kenton's second turnover of the game. It's huge. First down, Beachwood on the Simon Kenton 39. Clay Hayden in shotgun. Chase Flaherty joins him in the backfield. Three receivers to his left, one to his right. Gets a snap, looks to his left, got some pressure coming, throws underneath. The ball was tipped, but Flaherty caught it. The ball was tipped by a Simon Kenton player. Picks up about three yards on the play. Yeah, great play call. If that if that ball wouldn't have been tipped and completed, that might have gone the distance because there was a lot of room in the middle there yeah. for uh, for Flaherty. But uh, great job again. Uh, you know, Chase has just become such a reliable uh, receiver. Uh, why not continue to go back to the well on, on that? Call it second down and seven. Out ball spotted on the Simon Kenton 36. Beachwood gets a ball on a punt that was muffed by Simon Kenton. 2.46 to go, clock running first half. Two receivers, two Hayden's left, two to his right. Flaherty in the backfield. Hayden looks to his left, throws out to Flaherty in the flat. He makes a man miss, cuts back at the 30, 30, 29, takes it down, first down to Iger, close. Well, I love what Greg Hergit and Jay Volker are doing right now. They're saying, look, if you want to bring your linebackers up to the line of scrimmage yeah. and up to the A-gap, we're just going to throw a little dink and dunk over top of that. That's exactly what they've done the last two times. Great play call again by Coach that, Hergit, yeah. And what that's going to do, that's going to cause his linebackers to back off, which yep. will, will relieve the pressure and the, you know, the kind of the blitzkrieg coming at our offense line right now. First down, Beachwood, ball on a Simon Kenton 29 on a nice catch and run by Chase Flaherty. 2.14 to go, first half clock running. 
Snap to Hayden with the shotgun. Draw play to Flaherty. He picks up a good block again. Cuts back to the 25-20. Takes it inside the 20 down about the 19. Close to another first down. It'll be a little short, I think. Yeah, I, I, again, they did the same thing. This time they didn't. They brought the two linebackers up to the right side of our offensive line. And, 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 <laughs> and Clay just did a great job. He held the ball, saw where they were, and, and, g and gave it to Chase for the, uh, you know, what, 12-yard pickup there. Yeah. It's just a great play. Great play, good play call, and a great play by Chase uh, Flaherty and Clay Hayden. They're calling it second down and one. Didn't give them the first down. They have to get to the 19. The ball is spotted on the Simon Kenton 20. One minute, 33 seconds left to go in the first half. Beachwood 20, Simon Kenton 14. Hayden in the shotgun, two tight ends, two receivers to Hayden's left. The snap. Hands it again to Flaherty, and again picks up some nice yards up the middle for the first down. Takes it down about the Simon Kenton 15. Yeah, nice job on the left side of the offensive line, and a chance ball uh, in the middle at center, and Nick Alexander at left guard to open the way for Chase on that run. Chase, look, and Chase, is, yeah. this is the best half of football Chase yes. has played all year. By a long shot. Now, Beachwood calls their first timeout, 118 to go in the yep. first half. We'll stay right yeah, here got, with you. Got a couple scores. Yes. Okay, so from our... Uh, Production uh, wizard Katie Murphy. Katie, she thank you. Handed me this slip. How about at the end of the first quarter, LCA in the battle of oh, the top quarterbacks oh. in the state, LCA leading Christian Academy Louisville, not the unanimous number one in Ooh. 3A football. Yeah. That's that game is seven to nothing. Lexington Christian at the end of the first. How about this score? This is a shocker. Wild, who. The Raiders. Upset, I don't know whether you want to call it an upset, an impressive win over Cooper last week. Cooper had been rolling. Wild knocked them off last week. Right now, at the half, they are trailing Highlands 35-7. to Wow. Uh, at uh, Covenant Catholic tonight, 30, or I'm sorry, at the half, 17-7, Cuff Cath over Dixie. So mm. Dixie playing, yeah, Dixie playing the Colonel stuff. Yeah. Uh, Lloyd and uh, Bardstown, Bethlehem, no score at the end of one. Connor leads NCC 7-3, middle of the second quarter. And 21-7, uh, Cooper over Campbell County midway through the second quarter. Wow, Cooper's only up 21-7 yeah, on Campbell. Yeah, how about that? Wow, yeah. okay. So right here, it's 20-14, Beachwood over Simon Kenton. 118 to go in the first half. Beachwood comes out with a first and 10 on the Simon Kenton 15 yard line. Marcus score here would be so oh, huge. So huge. Two tight ends are in, one tight end. One receiver to uh, Hayden's right, two to his left. Flaherty joins him in the backfield. He looks to his right, throws to his right. Again, caught, oh, just through his hands. Throw, he had single coverage out there. I believe that's Urban just went through his fingers. Yeah, great coverage out there by Colton Farsing, the corner on the uh, left side of the Pioneers' uh, defense. Uh, and that'll make it second down and 10. Right through Luke's hands. He made a good effort getting open, but uh, just through his hands there. Second and 10. Ball still on the 15. The clock stops at 1.13 to go in the first half. We're inside a field goal range, that's for sure. Yeah, I think we're, still definitely, like a we're definitely in, uh, in Colson Lair range for sure. Flaherty joins Hayden in the backfield. Two receivers line up to either side. Here Hayden comes the pressure. The snap, looks to his right, throws right up the middle. Did it hit the ref? It wow. hit somebody. It did. Incomplete I pass. It hit the referee, the back judge here at about the 10 yard line. Yeah, I believe that's uh, Jason Selgman, the <laughs> official there, that took one right off the noggin. But, uh, you know, great job by uh, Simon Kenton. Uh, again, bringing pressure up the middle. Jack Meyer picked up a blitz block, did a great job. But on the up the middle and on the left side of the offensive line, you know, they brought multiple rushers into, into one gap and they were able to get through and cause that incompletion. Third down and 10, call it. Ball on the Simon Kenton 15. The clock is stopped with 107 to go in the first half. Clay Hayden gets a cl play call from Greg Herget. Big third down play here. Beachwood has to get to the Simon Kenton 5. Two receivers are going to line up. Fryman and Linner to his right. Erdman and Cusick to his left. Flaherty in the backfield. The snap to Clay. He looks to his right, still looks to his right. Has some pressure. Now is running into the 10. There, Clay. Clay. Excellent enough for down to the three yard line. Get again, Clay on two key runs, Murph. Gets a first down. Yeah, again, showing the poise and the field vision that has made him one of the top quarterbacks in the state of Kentucky this year. Uh, and, and he uh, showed some quickness there. And thank yeah. goodness he had that quickness because big Abba Selm, <laughs> uh, six foot three to, or six foot five, 295, was almost there to bring him down, uh, you know, right around the line of scrimmage. But another big play by Clay Hayden just showing all the things he can do to lead this Tiger team to the end zone. I got to say, Murph, I never want that guy chasing me. No, no, no sir. Don't want him no chasing sir. me. Two line up to Clay's right. He's in the shotgun. Ball on the Simon Kenton three. First down. Hand off the flare to get the middle. He's in. Close, I think close. Look in. in. Put him no, up. They're gonna Put him up. The one. No, they're, they're going to spot the it right at about the half yard line. The clock is running at 21 seconds. Beachwood has two timeouts. They're going to probably use one here, and they do. 
They stopped the clock at 19 seconds. The ball is second down, and it's at the half yard line. It couldn't get any closer. Man. We'll stay right here with you, reset things. 19 seconds, first half. Beachwood 20, Simon Kenton 14. First, uh, second and goal from the Simon Kenton half yard line. How's that? Yeah, uh, is that well, it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All right, well here we go. Done. That's, Thank that's you. a heck of a reset. <laughs> I like that. Uh, Chase Flaherty, and this is his 21st game as a varsity member of the Football Tigers. He has 20. Four touchdowns. Wow. He was uh, huge just, a year ago. Oh, man. Huge. I mean, coming I, in I after the injury to Berger. So many people, I think, overlooked what a huge, um, you know, what a huge addition he was to come in and fill in for Mitchell Berger. And yep. not only fill in, but he was sensational. All, all through the, the playoff run, the, the final two games at the end of the regular season, I mean, just, I, you know, he couldn't have done any better. Again, we talked about last week so many times, and I think it's you know it's it it, it deserves to be talked about. He just has the, a nose for the end zone, yes. like you know you, you you don't see very often. I mean, he's just such a strong, powerful runner. But boy, does he love scoring touchdowns. Well, he's going to have his shot here. Maybe they're going to line up in the I formation. Clay Hayden under center. All the big boys are in. Sneak here. Maybe Clay Hayden gets a snap. He is going to sneak it in. That's he's easy. Got to be in. Put him up. Put him That's up. It. They got to give it to Put him. Put him up. They got to give it to me. Touchdown, Tigers. Clay Hayden on a half-yard quarterback sneak. 13 seconds left to go in the first half. Clay Hayden's third rushing touchdown of his career. First this season. He had two last year. And a great job by Chance Ball, Nick Alexander, uh, and that offensive line to, uh, to open the way for Clay Hayden. Colson Lair out for the extra point. Colson had one hit off the upright, unfortunately, but he's been a fantastic kicker all season. Sophomore. Snap is back. Kick is up. It is good. There you go, Colson Lair. With 13 seconds left to go in the first half. Beachwood 27, Simon Kenton 14. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Right back after this. That was a great drive. Greg Hergett, Jay Volker, well done, boys. No doubt. We needed that one right back after this. Go Tigers. Yeah, this is, uh, they, they they are in a hole that's going to be tough to, to get out of. The Clay Hayden, three touchdown passes and a touchdown run. That's uh, that's how you play football on Friday night, Mark Talley. No doubt. Colson squibs it. It's fielded by Simon Kenton uh, Scheiber at his own 15. He'll take it out to about the 32. Five seconds left to go. Simon Kenton has two timeouts left. Don't know how much they're really going to be able here to get done. We'll see. Good job by uh, Luke Sleet there and, and Jordy Wagner on the uh, special teams uh Combined tackle right there. Again, the special teams unit doing a nice job. These guys, these kids for Simon Kenton yeah. can fly with the ball. Ball, right. is, ball is spotted on a Simon Kenton 33. We got five seconds left to go. We'll probably be the last play yeah. of the first half here. See if the Tigers will line up in some kind of safety here. They're not. Yeah, three. They got basically a three, four, three. There. Yep. Brady in the shotgun and he hands the ball here. There we and go. And he is tackled at the 40 yard line. Darrell Turner will be brought down, and that's the end of the first half. So a great ending there to the first half. Uh, for Beachwood to be able to score that touchdown to go up by 13 points, Murph, and uh, well, a huge turnover helped yeah, us out there. I mean, what a third quarter by uh, these Beachwood Tigers to put up, uh, you know, to put up 20 points. Uh, you know, just a, again, you know, the, these young men and this coaching staff do such a great job when they're pushed. Uh, you know, if they're, if they're pushed a little extra hard, they're going to fight back and come swinging like Muhammad Ali. And that's no exactly doubt. what they did. They outscored. Uh, Simon Kenton there in that second quarter, 20 to seven, and that's that's again with with what's on the line tonight, an, RP, an RPI win that would be so big for this yeah. team. Uh, just really great to see yet again another show of resiliency and toughness.
toughness by this Beachwood Tiger team led by Clay Hayden and Luke Erdman. Uh, you know, against, and again, I mean, this Simon Kenton played really well in the, in the you know, for a quarter and a half, but yeah. uh, they just kind of wilted there at the end of the second quarter because Clay Hayden was just picking them apart. Yeah. And credit to our offensive line, too, because, They're doing you know, a great I job. mean, they were, they were, uh, Simon Kenton was doing a great job bringing different blitzes, very blitzes from different angles, bringing, you know, the, the scat guys, your, your corners and your safeties and your speedy, speedy linebackers off the edge, not just one, but sometimes two or three. They did a great job there. It worked for a while, but again, we talked about before the game, adjustments, yep. figuring out what they're doing that's working and stopping it immediately, and that's, that's what we just saw there. And just before we take a quick break here, I want to go back to the RPI. Of the question yes. I missed on the yep. pop quiz. Ooh, lots. But now, RPI is a scoring system that the KHSAA came up with about three years ago to start to rank teams for certain wins. We are we are a 2A school, so today we're playing a 6A school that is a bigger school. If we win this game, it gives us more RPI points. Now, the first question I missed on the quiz was, what does RPI stand for? Uh, that's a great question. <laughs> See, uh, you had gotten it wrong, too. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That's a good question. You're a PhD. I'll work on that. Okay, work on that. That's <laughs> the one I missed. I must have missed that one, too. But since you brought that up, just taking a look at the uh, the new Kentucky uh, high school football media poll, which oh, is yeah, uh, yeah. the Louisville Courier Journal, yes. Journal their uh, fantastic uh, high school uh, coverage guru, Jason Frakes. He has gathered 24 of the top journalists from across the state, and they are now, because there's so many rankings, yeah. there's so many polls out yeah. there, they decided to put together the the legitimate poll uh, for high school football, yep. and uh, they've got 24 from around the area. They've got three from Northern Kentucky. I'm not sure. I think it's Evan Dennison from Link NKY. Okay. I, I believe it's James Weber from the Cincinnati Enquirer. Yep. I'm not, and maybe, I'm not sure who the third one might, I'm not sure who the third one is, but the, the 2A rankings, the first 2A ra rankings came out and yesterday. who's number one? Beachwood Tigers. Oh, yeah. Beachwood Tigers, barely. Uh, <laughs> over LCA, Beachwood uh, comes in number one, 12 first place votes over LCA with 11 first place votes. Wow. Uh, and our friends from Owensboro yeah. Catholic who are coming in hot, as they say, yes, they, they picked up one first place vote. Uh, so that's your top three right now, Beachwood, LCA, Owensboro Catholic. Mayfield falls to number four, yeah. and they fall to number four because they lost a tough one last week to Paducah Tillman, an yeah. excellent team. Yes, they are. But it's, it's, that was a game Mayfield needed to win to kind of stay at within the top three. Yeah. So Mayfield falls to four, Murray five, Somerset uh, six, Shelby Valley falls to number seven, Green County number eight, Breathitt County number nine, and Bracken County Walton Verona tied for number ten. Um, so that's that's what the rankings look like. But, uh, you know, taking a look at right now, you know, we talked about the importance of this game. Um, so LCA, uh, they have big RPI wins against Bowling Green, um, and they defeated Pikeville. Yeah, uh, that was yeah, a They big defeated win. Pikeville last week. Uh, so they're 2-1. and one. Um, The Pikeville one's not, re not really going to help them, but that Bowling Green one does, and it they're sure playing Ca Christian Academy Louisville, who is number one in 3A. Yeah. They're playing them tonight, so they, they that, that would be a big win for them. So we know LCA is going to be up there. So yep. that, that's not, yes. but where it, where it gets a little bit like, huh, interesting. We've got kind of got a, you know, a, a new member to the party, yep. so to speak, in Owensboro Catholic. They're currently 3-0. Last week they knocked off a top 10 5A school in Greenwood, 43-12. to In that game they racked up 423 yards of offense, 287 through the air. Quarterback <coughs> Brady Atwell uh, who was a junior. Yeah, he played baseball, too. Yeah. Know that guy from I baseball. thought he was a senior. He's a junior. Yeah. How about these numbers? 20-28, no interceptions, 276 yards, and five touchdowns, and he rushed for a touchdown as well. Yikes. Uh, so they are super, super hot. They've got three RPI wins against Apollo. Uh, uh, let's see. Can't see who the second was. I'm going to have to get my writing better. But uh, and, and Greenwood last week. Um, and now tonight they are taking on Owensboro, who is at 5A and struggling. So they're likely going to win that game tonight. And with that win, they'll have four RPI wins. So yeah. Yeah. if we lose this game tonight, they likely, Might. again,
talented, but they're not they they don't they're not gonna make the big plays like the Beachwood receivers are gonna do. Colson Lyric scripts a kick oh, again yes. at about the 40. Simon Kenton guy catches it at the 42 tackled. We did that a week ago against Dixie. It worked great. Not so much this time, but the Simon Kenton's gonna take over on their own 41, first yeah. and 10, first possession of the second half. Yeah, nice job there uh, by Mark Ober to bring that one in. You know, that's always a tough one. You never know those big guys up front yeah. on that front line. Are they gonna be able to bring that ball in? But Mark Ober, he's not just a big guy, he's a he is Good one of the top linebackers in Northern Kentucky he made a great play right there, and I love the love the thought there by Jay Volker to yeah. maybe uh, maybe try to steal one to start the second half. Simon Kent has pretty much been in a hurry up the entire game. They're going to be again. Brady Lee in the shotgun with two backs to either side of him. He gets it, hands it off to Darrell Turner, who gets out maybe a yard after about the 42, second and nine for Simon Kent. Uh, Jack Meyer, Maddox Kelly, and uh, one other Tiger down. I'm not sure who that is, but uh, that was a great job by those three young men. And let me tell you, Mark Talley, I, you know, I, we talked about a lot last year how crucial Jack Meyer was to, you know, the, the Tigers run to another state championship. He is just sensational, and he's played so well in the last couple of weeks especially. He just keeps getting better and better and better, and I'm not sure who this is. That might be, is that Xavier Campbell? Might be Xavier. Um, he's down at about the Simon Canton 42. The tackle was made. It's going to be second down and nine. First play here, the second half. The clock starts, stops at 11 uh, 46 to go in the third quarter. Hopefully, Xavier's all right. I believe that is Xavier down there. Yeah, uh, you know, any any time, you know, you have to take uh, Xavier Campbell off the field. It's uh, you know, the the team takes a dramatic blow. You know, uh, Mark, how many times have we seen him? Uh, you know, just make play after play. He made a great block on that first touchdown. You know, he just plays great offensive line. He's be, he's developing into a really, really good middle linebacker. Um, we hope he gets up here. Hope he's okay. 27-14 your score. 11.46 to go. That was a first play here of the second half. So Brandon Slusher and the staff are out. We're checking on Xavier. Mark, while this is going on, let's talk real quick about, uh, you know, our, our District 5, uh, you know, friends from, uh, from across the – across the district, just a, a quick update. Uh, uh, as we saw in the rankings, uh, Bracken County and Walton Run have elevated into, they're tied for 10th and 2A right now in the Kentucky coaches, or the Kentucky media poll. Uh, Walton Verona, one and one, they're taking on a very good single A Kentucky Country Day team uh, tonight. Uh, don't have a score update from there. And our friends from Bracken County, they're two and one. Uh, they are at Berea tonight. Uh, Berea, an unranked 1A team, so I expect them to pick up the win there. Uh, and then Gallatin County, I'm sorry, yeah, Gallatin County, uh, they're taking on Trimble County tonight. They're one and one. Carroll County, uh, they're one and two. They are taking on Madison Consolidated, uh, an, Indi an Indiana school. Uh, and then Owen County, uh, they're one and two. They're facing Pendleton County tonight. Um, so, you know, the it, it can't really tell much there, but it looks like, uh, you know, the there's a, there's a tier there, and it's going to be, the top three would be Beachwood, Walton, Bracken, and then Carroll kind of looking to maybe creep up into there, and then Gallatin and Owen kind of, you know, fighting out for the uh, for the bottom there. We're going to take a break here. Uh, I believe they're going to they're calling for the paramedics here uh, in this situation. Uh, not exactly sure who the Beachwood Tiger is down at the 42 yard line. Think it's Xavier Campbell. We'll take a quick break here and come back. Uh, thanks everyone again for tuning in.
We're back live on the campus of Beachwood High School. I have an injury on the field. Uh, it's Xavier Campbell. He's down at the 43-yard line being attended to. Do not want to speculate anything at all. We'll come back live when um, um, hopefully everything is okay here with Xavier, and uh, we'll take a quick pause again. Thanks, everyone, again for tuning in.
We're back live on the campus of Beachwood High School. Uh, Xavier Campbell was uh, helped off the field. Um, the injury happened on the last play. Uh, he was down at about the uh, Simon Kenton 42-yard line. Hopefully, he will be okay. Well, uh, never easy to see anything like that. Um, you know, just from a, uh, you know, every one of these boys are near and dear to our hearts. Yeah. And, uh, you know, Xavier's been such a big part of this program for so many years. Uh, especially hard to see it uh, uh, with him, um, you know, just that, you know, they use the words heart and soul, and it's cliche a lot of times, but, uh, you know, in terms of this team and this, uh, um, you know, the meaning of his presence to this team, he is 100% the heart and soul of this uh, this Tiger squad. And, uh, you know, we talked about at the, you know, at the end of the half just how important, uh, you know, he is in so many ways for this team. So it's, uh, you know, we, we, uh, we pray and, and hope that he's okay. It looks like it's, it looks like, uh, you know, it looks like he's going to be okay, but uh, hopefully this is just more precautionary than anything. We're not real sure what happened, but, uh, you know, our, our uh, you know, our, our fingers are crossed and we hope Xavier's okay. Um, so always tough, Mark. No doubt about it. 11.46 ago, that was the first play of the second half. Uh, reset things here. It's second down and nine. The players are still kind of pausing, stretching, throwing the football around a bit. All the yeah. Beachwood players are huddled up at around the Simon Canton 45. Talking to the coaches. Yeah, and, and you know, for Jay Volker, Greg Herget, and uh, you know, all those guys. Now, uh, you know, they gotta, they gotta get the get the boys ready to play the rest of this game. Um, you know, without Xavier, so you're gonna have to move some move some players around and and uh, utilize the uh, tremendous depth that this team has. Um, you know, big big task for Coach Volker in a situation like this. But uh, you know, I think he's. He has more than proven that he, along with that tremendous coaching staff, can really do whatever is necessary to get this team ready to uh, play. But uh, definitely a tough situation here at Beachwood High School tonight. And it looks like they're going to give them, yeah, they're going to give uh, the players uh, an opportunity here to stretch back out and get loose again. That was a pretty long break, probably uh, for about 20 minutes there. And uh, with second down and nine, Simon Kenton, they got the ball in their own 42. That was the first play of the second half. There's 11 minutes and 46 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Beachwood up 27-14. You hate to see that stuff. Yep. Yeah. Please, everyone at, at, at home, hope and pray that Xavier is going to be okay tonight. Yeah, it's a uh, it's a it's a tough game, and and you you, you know you hope you can come out uh, you know of ev any game in any season unscathed. And you know we've been been blessed uh, to to not really have to see a, a lot of this the last couple of years. Uh, but it's just it's always hard. You know I. In a situation like this, I always remember Josh Derry down at Georgetown yeah. and, uh, you know, his injury and, you know, the how hard that was for, for the uh, Tiger squad that year. And it's just I, I hate seeing this. Uh, and, it's, you know, Xavier, just such a fantastic young man who just, you know, he, he's such a such a role model for the rest of this team in terms of, you know, work ethic and dedication to yeah. to to his craft. And, uh, you know, and also, and you know, honestly, not, not a, a better – display of you know being a great teammate by yeah. you know and he showed it over uh, you know over the years you know this year he moves to middle linebacker sure uh as a senior yep. you know you know it's a tough move right it he's sure been such is. a great defensive end he get, gets all those numbers at defensive end he was so great there yeah um you know and uh, you know as a as a freshman and sophomore you know he, it looked like he might be a running back h back type and, yeah. and because he's such a strong powerful young man they said hey you know what guess what you're not touching the ball anymore you're going to be an offensive lineman you know what he did he went and uh, worked and became one of the best offensive linemen in Northern Kentucky. No he's just doubt. a great kid and a, just a great teammate, and uh, you know, I hope he's going to be okay. So now, uh, you know, offensively, I think we see Brody Waddell come in yeah. uh, and and play left guard. They'll make some sort of move, but I would expect this the sixth offensive lineman is, is uh, the last couple of games has been Brody Waddell. Uh, he is he is an outstanding football player, so I think. You know, I think he'll he'll do just fine um, and uh, defensive defensively. You know, I, I'm not sure what, what they do here, but yeah. uh, we'll be watching. Um, and they, they've got depth. They've got, you know, one of the great things about this team this year and in, just like in years past is, you know, next man up and the next man up is usually pretty darn talented, Mark Towie. 11 minutes, 46 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Everyone's starting to warm up after the injury to Xavier Campbell. He was helped off of the field. Um, and give credit to the uh, – uh, staff yeah. for the Tigers and yep. uh, Simon Ken, everyone helped out there. Yep, uh, just a show of love and compassion by everyone on the field. Uh, great job by Alan Yankee and uh, uh, 
uh, Jana Bromley, the new principal and assistant principal of the high school, to uh, you know get the medical personnel down here as quick as possible. Dr. Stacy out there, yeah. tending to the family and and to Xavier, and uh, you know all the coaches doing exactly what they need to do in a situation like this. So. We're about to start playing again here. Simon Kenton's going to go. come out second down and nine. Ball spotted on the Simon Kenton 42, and they're going to go hurry up again. Brady okay, Lee will so line up in the shotgun. So Aiden Dickey, sophomore Aiden Dickey, at middle linebacker All now right. for Xavier Campbell. He has shown uh, some good stuff his, his uh, time the last couple of weeks. And Brady Lee in the shotgun again, a back at either side of him. He gets, hands it off to Darrell Turner, cuts up, going to get a first down inside the Beachwood 45 on a nice run to the right-hand side. Yeah, about a 16-yard about a run there. And again, this is, this is nothing complicated. This is just great offensive line play. They're just trapping. They're bringing the left guard and left tackle around, and they're just sealing off all kinds of room for Darrell Turner. And now Brady Lee. in the shotgun keeps it this time. He's down at the 30-25, knocked out of bounds at about the 26-yard line. Brady Lee on a hurry up, kept it. Uh, ran to the right, picked up another first down, spotted at the 26. Yeah, that's uh, you know same thing. Just uh, they're just they're they're steamrolling right now. They're they're taking the uh, momentum. Lee gets a shotgun, hands it off to number 35. His first carry of the game goes out to the left, going to get back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe nice job. That was Tyson Weaver on the carry there, the freshman. He might have gotten back to the scrimmage line. He did second and ten. <laughs> Lee again. Three receivers out to his right, one to his left in the shotgun. Throws to his left, dumps it across the middle, incomplete. It's going to be third and ten, Murph. Yeah, I just got a quick update from the, from the uh, sideline. It looks like Xavier's going to be okay. It looks like it was more precautionary than anything. So Great news. That's great. great. Thank you, Angie Urban, for the update. Yes. All right, Simon Ken comes out here third and ten. Ball on, their own, on the beach with 26. Lee in a shotgun. Three receivers out to his right. He gets the ball rolling to his right. Has a blocker in front of him. Now he's going to keep it. Cuts up and he throws it. Oh, oh. it's intercepted. Because he passed the line of scrimmage. They're checking. He was. He, he definitely checking. was. Are they going to throw a flag? Haven't seen Let's one see yet. Do. I Haven't thought seen he was one yet. Boy, he looked like two yards past the line of scrimmage. Yeah, there it is. There yeah, it is. There they it did is. call it. And I believe that's a loss of down it is. So it's going to be fourth down now, and they're going to tack on some penalty yards. This is a huge play. Yeah. It's going to be at least a 10-yard penalty. It's going to take the ball back to the Beachwood 35. It's going to be fourth down, a fourth down of 15 at the Beachwood 30. Yeah, it's just a tough break. Bra Brady Lee just lost track of where he was on yeah. the field. You know, he, he uh, and he saw a receiver that he thought was open. He's lucky that didn't get picked off and run back a good distance. Simon Kenton, three receivers, two leaves right, one to his left. He gets a snap. He rolls, looks left, throws left into the end zone, into double coverage. Ball is dead, knocked incomplete. Fantastic job by the beach with defense yeah, back. Sean Souter. Yeah, Sean Souter, Tyler Fryman uh, over, over the top. Just a great job right there. You know, I... No man's land in the yeah. at that spot in the field, so you don't really blame uh, Coach Lucas for going for it there. Not sure, sure that was the right play call with a quarterback that's not necessarily, uh, you know, primed to throw it into the end zone like that. But uh, valiant effort, but came up short. And again, Sean Souter just playing a great job at corner for the Tigers tonight. And Tyler Fryman did a great job helping out. Clay Hayes yes, gets he a did. play call from Greg Hergen. Tigers come out here, 10.44 to go, third quarter. Beachwood up 27-14. Beachwood takes over for their first possession of the second half, starting from their own 30-yard line. Two receivers right. go to Hayden's left, two to his right. So right. Maddox Kelly moves to left tackle, and, uh, and Brody Waddell in at right tackle. The snap back to Hayden under serious pressure quickly. Rolls to a oh right sand. Sacked inside the 20, back to about the 17. They're blitzing again. Simon Kenton, Pioneer, Landon Brown came on the blitz. Yep. Sacks him inside the 20. And again, this is this is uh, this is something that they saw last week against Dixie. Uh, we're vulnerable to those rushes, especially speed rushes off the, off the left or right tackle. Uh, they're going to have to consider extra protection, especially now uh, with Xavier Campbell out and uh, Brody Waddell. And Brody Waddell is excellent. Uh, and that definitely wasn't his fault. But you know, uh, they're going to come. They're coming hard now because they they can sense vulnerability on the line. Call it second down and. 20. 21 now, three receivers to Hayden's left. Chase Flaherty joins him in the backfield. Hayden goes back, has some time, throws to the right, completely through the hands. Unfortunate. Uh, 
Cusick almost caught it there at about the 35, but he picked up some good yards. Now it's third down now. Call it 21. The ball spotted on the beach with 19. Yeah, great throw there by by Clay Hayden. Yeah. Uh, you know, just uh, unfortunately, uh, Cusick unable to bring it in. I, I would venture he catches that ball nine times out of ten. Yeah. Unfortunately, it just didn't happen there. Uh, but Clay, a great job of staying in the pocket and waiting for James to get a little bit of separation. Unfortunately, just unable to connect. Huge third down play early here, third quarter. Nine minutes, 58 seconds. Clock is stopped in the third quarter. Beach up 27-14. Third down and 21 from the Beachwood 19. A big test here for Maddox Kelly. He's up against Abbasome. Three receivers to Hayden's left, two to his right. He gets a snap, has some time, four-man rush. Throws deep down the middle. Wide open, title 40. 50. Split him. He Here we go. He's gone, Martelli. He's gone. 81. 3 2 1. Touchdown. 81 yards, Martelli. Clay Hayden, the title Fryman. Fryman's second touchdown of the night. Clay Hayden does it again. The leading touchdown passer in the state of Kentucky. He just continues to light up the field. What a throw, what a catch. Tyler Fryman emerging wow. as one of the top freshman receivers in the state of Kentucky. Man, Man, this aerial assault is filthy. Fryman got open at about the 50. He made a guy miss at the Simon Kenton 40 and took it to the house. Colson Lair out for the extra point. Beachwood 33, Simon Kenton 14. Snap is back. Kick is up. And it is good. Before you go, I yeah. just also want to say great job there by Maddox Kelly, uh, Nick Alexander, and Chance Ball because what they did right there was a they did a twist inside yeah. that uh, you know for Maddox Kelly moving from one side to the other could have been tricky, but he and Nick and Chance both handled the twist perfectly to give Clay that time that he needed. Great play all around. Tigers do it again. Nine minutes, 44 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Beachwood 34, Simon Kenton 14. We'll stay right back here with you. Thanks for tuning in. Man, I tell you what, give Clay a little bit of time. He has shown his two years playing quarterback here the incredible poise he has. You give him a little bit of time, he'll find the open man. He did on Fryman, and Fryman did fantastic work. He made a Simon Kenton defender with Adam at about the 40-yard line, and he was home after that. Fantastic run. Tyler Fryman now on the season with four touchdown catches. Man, unbelievable. Freshman Martelli. Freshman Martelli. Freshman. Man. Freshman, I said. Mike cool. Green. <laughs> Colson Lair with the kick deep. Scheiber takes it at his own four. He's out to the 10, 15, comes up the middle. Still going wide, brought down at about the 22, 24. They're going to get him. He might take it outside of the 25. Simon Kenton comes out for their second possession. 9.34 to go, 34-14 Beachwood. Yeah, nice job there by Peyton Schuler again with another special teams tackler, uh, tackle. Uh, Brody Ayler comes uh, in to help and finishes the, uh, the the returner off. Now let's get a good defensive series yeah. and, and uh, put one more on the board. Simon Kenton has come out in this hurry up the entire game. Quarterback Brady Lee's had a pretty good game, scored on, on a touchdown run in the first half. He comes out here now, two receivers to his left, two to his right. You said it earlier, Murph, not a team who likes throwing nope. the ball to come back. The handoff is to the back turner. This, this is going to get one yard, maybe. Yeah, Mark, this is a ground and pound. This is a, a ground and pound. This yeah. is a, a team that just loves to get in fights in the trenches and run the ball the whole game. Uh, you know, with Brady Lee, who is a, a fine athlete, yeah. uh, you know, they're just not going to be able to throw the ball down the field like S we do. Second down and eight. Simon Kitten gets a snap again. Brady Lee back in the throws it deep down the middle. Has Erdman in there to maybe get a chance at a diving interception. Fantastic effort by Luke Erdman. And, and that's a perfect example of what I was talking about right there. Uh, it, receiver was wide open yeah. on a post pattern. And he, he had separation from Urban, which, by the way, is not easy to do. Yeah. Uh, and he, the ball was just underthrown. Third down and eight call it. Ball still spotted on the Simon Kenton 29. Big third down here play early for Simon Kenton. They got a Yeah, they need this, Mark. They need this badly. Receiver getting back. He fakes a hand off the turner, throws it over the middle, caught. Going to be a Simon Kenton first, first down, brought down about the 45. That was caught by Grayson Harris. Yeah, hey, Grayson Harris, that was a heck of a catch. He had to go up and get that sure one. Uh, nice play by Lee. Uh, you know, again, his mid-range game is fine and improving. Um, so nice job there by him. First and 10, he's going to hand it to Turner. Turner takes it around the left-hand side, picks up a couple yards, not quite to the 50-yard line, called to 47. Call it second down and seven here for Simon Kent. And talk about young men who have played really well tonight. Chase Flaherty, uh, you know, bo on both sides of the ball. And again, right there, his outside linebacker spot, he gets uh, he gets 
he makes contact in the backfield to really slow Turner down. So nice play there, and he's finished off by the rest of the Tigers' defense. 8.22, clock ticking. Lee gets a snap, throws it out to his left, complete out there to Kitchens. Kitchens is not going to allow. They're going to give him the first down. Gonna it's going to be spotted at the Beachwood 45. First and 10, Simon Kenton. They've been going hurry up pretty much all game. Yeah, and they know right now, Coach Lucas and the staff know they have to put points on the board here. Brady Lee in shotgun again. Throws quickly out to his right. The ball is incomplete. Yeah, it bounced. They're going to call it incomplete pass, second and 10. Yeah, panic move right now. And you see the Simon Kenton fans going crazy because uh, you know, right, the, right there, they caught Beachwood with 12 players on the field. That's why the throw was short because he, he, he snapped the ball quickly. Uh, and he just he panicked to get the ball and, and hopefully get the penalty. Uh, unfortunately, they didn't get the penalty and definitely didn't get the completion. Second down and 10. Lee again in the shotgun. Two receivers to either side of him. Turner in the back. Field. He gets it, rolls to his right. Lee still rolling. Now he's going to keep it, throws. Out complete to Carter Blades. Going to be real close to a first down. They'll give it to him at the 35 of Beachwood. First and 10, Simon Kenton. Yeah, and again, another nice play right there by, by Lee, evading pressure. Aiden Dickey came on a late blitz and, uh, and looked like he might be able to make some, make some kind of play, but Lee may, is able to make the play off the rush. Lee and the shotguns handed to Turner up the middle. Nowhere really to go. Picked up about a yard, takes it down to Beachwood 34. The clock is running. Three minutes, 50 seconds left to go third quarter. Beachwood scored on their pass possession here, leading 34 to 14. Yeah, Jack Meyer and Nick Alexander on attack on that play there. Lee in the shotgun again, three receivers to his left, one to his right. Turner in the backfield, he gets it, hands it to Turner again, up the middle on a trap <laughs> play at the 30-20, he's gone. 15-10, yeah. five, touchdown. Nice block in there by the Simon Kenton offensive line, opened up a hole there for Turner and he took it to the house. Well, you can see what uh, Mark Stoops and Vince Morrow love about Abbasselm right there, a little trap play. He yeah. comes pulling around the right side and seals off a giant hole for Darrell Turner, 35 yards, he takes it in for the score. Uh, you know, that's just, that's next level offensive line play right there. Really nice play by Simon Kenton out here for the extra points. Score stands at 34 to 20. 7.30 left to go in the third quarter. Simon Kenton kicker is Cole Garnett out for the extra point. This is a big one here to get the score down to 13. Snap is back. Kick is up. And it is good with seven minutes, 27 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Peach with 34, Simon Kenton 21. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in right back after this. Go Tigers. drive. Kickoff is off. <laughs> Urban's going to field it at the 10. Cusick comes up the block for him. He's at the 20. He's at the 20. Cuts back to his left. Takes it out to about the 26 where Tigers will start their second possession here of the second half leading 34 to 21. Yeah, nice job there on special teams by uh, Cody McDonald, a uh, senior for the Pioneers. Not easy to bring Luke uh, Urban down that quickly. You are absolutely correct, sir. It would be great to see a nice long drive here and a touchdown here to end this third quarter. How about last score from the Covenant Kepley Pixie game? Tied 24 to 24 Whoa. in the fourth quarter. Wow. wow. Good ball yeah. game in Park Hills tonight. Ball spotted on the Beachwood 26. Come out here first and 10, 7.23 to go. Two receivers line up to either side of Hayden. Urban joins him in the backfield. Hayden goes back to some pressure up the middle, throws it out on a screen pass to Flaherty. Flaherty cuts it back to the 30, takes it to yeah, 35. It's coming back. Uh. It's Flag, yeah. flag down around the 18-yard line. That's going to come back. That's a, That was a hold right in front of the official. Yep, holding called on Beachwood. It's a spot foul. See where they spot it. Might take it back to about the 10 or 12. Beachwood's going to still be first down, though, at least. 7-13 to go in the third quarter. 
Tigers coming out for their second possession. See where they end up spotting this ball. It's going inside the 15, stopping it. Marked for 16. We'll can, take it. Can you imagine being a defensive coordinator having to defend against Clay Hayden no. in this passing attack? I'm not kidding. Yeah. They've got two two high safeties, yeah. uh, four defensive backs. I don't know that I would defend him without a fifth defensive back, yeah. honestly. I mean, and I know it's a gamble, but, uh, I mean, he's just absolutely picking these kids apart. Clay Hayden again in the shotgun. Chase Flaherty joins him. First down and 20. Two receivers to Hayden's left. He gets a snap. Gets some time. Throws quickly out to the left. Caught by Tell. Drop no, by Talon. Out of 21. Incomplete. It's going to be second down and 20. Ball still spotted back on the Beachwood 15. And you know what? You know what? We've had some great plays on yeah. third and 20s and the whole game. Oh, so uh, who yeah, knows? All year. Yeah. Uh, right there. That, that Clay wasn't touched there. He had to rush a throw, though, because they sent a, a blitzer on the left side. So Maddox Kelly and uh, Nick, uh, Nick Alexander on the left side, they just had they had three rushers pushing them into yeah. the backfield. And with these kids being so big, you know, just sometimes the push into the backfield can cause incomplete passes. No doubt. And that's exactly what happened there. Alba Selm leading the way on the right side of that defense. They're calling it second and 20 now. Three receivers line up to Hayden's left. He gets a snap. Has some time. Looking deep. Throws deep. Urban going Tyler. down. Come on. Just incomplete. incomplete. Just overthrew Luke Urban, and that's hard to do as quick as Luke is. That ball fell incomplete about the Simon Kenton 40. It's going to be third down and 20 now. Ball still at the Beachwood 16, call it. 6.50 to go third quarter, Beachwood 34, Simon Kenton 21. Good coverage by Nathan Kitchens, the corner that was on Urban right there on that play. Again, uh, it it, you know, he did a good job of having a little bit of contact down yeah. the sideline to uh, to prevent Luke from being completely free and gaining that uh, that separation that he he can get so easily. Knocked him off his route just yeah. a little bit. Just a little bit. Off. Yeah. Third down and Big 20 play. now. Big play. Beachwood sends four receivers out to the left, including Chase Flaherty. One to his right, Clay Hayden in the shotgun. No blitz showing for Simon Kenton here. Clay Hayden gets a ball, has some time, throws it down the right side to Cusick. Just overthrown, unfortunate. He was open. Yeah, uh, yeah, just an overthrow there. And the unfortunate thing is they had two receivers that were in open space on the left side that had he gotten the ball to that, he might have been able to pick it up. I know what he was thinking there, but just overthrew it just a little bit. Just a tad. Great arm there by Clay Hayden. James Cusick is going to come back and punt. It's fourth down and 20. James had to come back after he ran that route. 6.43 to go in the third quarter. Simon Kenton's Luke Scheiber is lined up. Right at about midfield, and the snap is high. James did a great job fielding it. No pressure. The kick gets off. They're going to let it bounce, and a great punt. As it turns out, the ball is rolling inside the 35 down to the 31 on a snap. He kicked it off from the goal line in the air after it's rolled. That ball is about a 70-yard punt. Yeah, that was, that was a great job. I mean, that just shows you what kind of athlete James Cusick is. He has Man. to, he has to go, go up high. And let me tell you, it doesn't. he can jump very easily, but he had to work to bring that one down and then has the uh, poise to, uh, to kick one like that. Uh, just a great job right there, you know. I, I, and I'm sure Simon Kenton, their staff, frustrated now because yeah. they, you know, their punt returner staying at the 50. You see a bad snap, and you yeah. think, all right, we're we're in business now. And now they're sending <laughs> back at their own 32-yard line. Falls on the Simon Kenton 32, 6:33 to go, third quarter. Simon Kenton comes out. Lee again in the shotgun. Three receivers to his right, one to his left. Turner in the backfield with him. He pulls it out from Turner, throws it deep down wide the middle. Open. It's a wide Not open. good. Tackled again. A nice tackle inside the 30. Nice completion there to Grayson Harris inside the Beachwood 30 at about the 26, and they're going hurry up. Yeah, not often you see a uh, an opposing receiver that wide open, and uh, you know, Grayson just he having himself a heck of a game tonight for the Pioneers. Lee in the shotgun again. Turner to his left, hands it off <laughs> this time. Turner goes up the middle at the 10, tackled down at about the 6. Going to be a first down, Simon Kenton first and goal. Holy cow. It at the five. Listen, if you got anybody watching, if you've never seen Abba Selm play uh, left tackle, that block he made right there might have been one of the best I've ever seen. Lee hands it to Turner up the middle, and he's nah, stuck right at the five-yard line. It's going to bring up second down and goal. Simon Kenton, 5.58 to go, clock ticking third quarter. Mark, that would leading 34-21. <laughs> Selm tra trapping from the left side is like Anthony Munoz coming down yeah. on, on, on these defenders. No Man. doubt about it. That All right, ball here we is go. spotted at the four. Lee gets a call. Two receivers to his right. Still looking back at the coaches. Grayson goes out to his left. He'll have two to his left, two to his right. Joined in the backfield by Landon Brown. Lee gets a snap. 
Hands, fakes it to Brown, hands it to Brown. Yeah. Brown's in yeah. for a touchdown. Well, yeah, right behind Abba Selm once again. Selma's just absolutely cleaning out the defensive line of the of the Tigers right there. He, he pushes a Tiger defender, you know, three yards into the end zone, and then with his with his right arm, he holds off another defender. Just an unbelievable job right there by Abba Selm to lead the Pioneers to another touchdown. Cole Garnett out for the extra point. 34-27's your score. Fast moving action here in the third quarter. Rocket. Kick is down, and it is good. With five minutes and 30 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Beachwood 34, Simon Kenton 28. Thanks for tuning in. Take a quick break right back after this. It's a privilege to see the brilliant content you're creating with my music. If you're enjoying our beat, why not go premium? I guarantee you won't look back. Live on the campus of Beachwood High School, 5.30 to go, 34-28. Coach uh, Lucas and his staff, they've just said, all right, we're going to send Abba Selm at you yeah. and, and stop, see if you can stop him, great. If not, we're getting back in this game. Cusa catches the kickoff at his own 10. He's going to take it out to about the 27-yard line where Beachwood will start up again, first and 10. Tigers leading 34 to 28. Been a great ball yeah. game here. <laughs> Clay Hayden has had a fantastic job passing. The run game for Beachwood has been a little bit better. They've kind of gotten away from it. The ball is spotted on the Beachwood 27. See if we go back to that a bit. We'll see. Yeah, I, I, we're going to need to in order to uh, you know to kind of hold off Simon Kenton here. Yeah. I mean, they're they've got uh, some serious momentum right here, and uh, you know. I, I, again, when you've got size and power on an offensive line, defensive line like that, it makes it really tough no matter what's on either side. Uh, and right now, Abbasem, Cohen Schmidt, Jake Putoff, and uh, all those guys are just really playing great football. Clay Haynes with a lineup in the shotgun. Again, he's got Xander and Flaherty in the backfield. Handoff straight to Flaherty going to his right. Picks up a block. Yeah. Out 25, there we 30, go. He's outside. Cut the edge. He cut, cut the edge. Cut back. Goes up to about the 39-yard line, 40-yard line. Call it Beachwood first down. Nice run. Yeah, just a great job. Great vision by Chase Flaherty. I mean, he's always been, even all the way down to his Spartans days, he's always had great field vision, which has made him so good and, and gets him into the end zone so yeah. so often. Uh, then again, right there, you see it. He gets the edge and then sees the cutback lane and, and fights back in for extra yardage and the first down. Big first down play for Beachwood there. Takes it out to their 40-yard line. Clay Hayden gets a call. Clock running, five minutes even left in the third quarter. Hayden's going to have two receivers to his left, one to his right, one tight end in. Chase Flaherty joins him in, in the backfield. Clay looks over to Greg Hergen, how to get the check. He gets a snap. Hands it again to Flaherty. Going to get about one or two yards over to the right, maybe. Back to the line of scrimmage, call it second and ten. Yeah, so a, a, uh, a kind of a double blitz, a little an exotic blitz there. So they brought a, a rusher off the edge, kind of forced uh, Chase back inside a little bit. And right there, Josh Bowling coming up the middle on a delayed run blitz. He was able to bring him down uh, for no gain. Second down and 10, ball spotted on the Beachwood 40. Clay Hayden gets a call from Greg Hergens. We've got 4.16 to go in the third quarter, clock running. Beachwood jumped out to a 34-21 lead. Actually, 34-14 lead. Simon Kenton scored two touchdowns to cut that lead down to hey, six they're not, points. They're not going away, Mark. Sure aren't. Clay Hayden lines up in the shotgun. Looks out to his left, throws deep down the middle. He's got Fryman. Oh, what a catch! He what got it catch. at the 29-yard line. Had a Simon Kenton got yeah. draped on him. Yeah, just a couple things there. Simon Kenton, jailbreak blitz there on the on the right side of the Beachwood offensive line. So credit to Brody Waddell, Chance Ball, and right guard Jack Meyer to block. They're three, just blocked five right yeah. there. And Clay, because they were able to hold those guys off, Clay was able to make that throw down the field. But what a catch Man. by Tyler Fryman. Unbelievable. Man. Had a Simon Kenton guy hanging on him, got his hands on the ball and brings it Big down to the 30. Big First time. down, Tigers on the Simon Kenton 30. 
Clay Hayden comes out on the shotgun. Ch Chase Flaherty joins him in the backfield. Three receivers to his left, one to his right. Clay gets a snap, rolls to his right, has Chase in front of him, block, and throws down to the right, complete. Inside yeah, the 20-yard line. Cusick again inside the 20, down to the 18. Yeah, just a, uh, a great route run there by Cusick. A, you know, the, this, this Tiger receiving core is just surgical on the sidelines and uh, just a great throw. Yeah, that was a, he threw that ball a long way yeah. and he threw it with authority to get to James. So great job. And also, I want to tip my cap to uh, Maddox Kelly at left tackle yes. right now. He is battling one of the best defensive linemen in the state of Kentucky in Abbasome. He's Bowen, doing a great job. Ball marked inside the Simon Kenton 20 at the 18. Four receivers now to Hayden's left, one to his right. He gets a snap, looks left, throws right quickly. Caught by over there by, I believe that's Urban. Might lose a yard or maybe get back to the line of scrimmage. It's going to be second down and 10. The clock is running, 3.09 to go third quarter. Yeah, it was Cusick on the reception Cusick again. Cusick got it, okay. Uh, and I, and you, you like the play call because you know all it takes is, you know, one, yep. an inch of separation in the middle of the field like that, and James is gone. Uh, but nice shot by the Simon Kenton defense to kind of stuff that early. Again, the, the thing people don't realize is, is James Cusick and Luke Erdman, they are all-state track sprinters. Yeah. Yeah, people don't realize, and I don't think Dixie realized just how quick those guys were last week. Clay Hayden in the shotgun, Chase Flaherty joins them, two to each side. Gets the ball, hands off to Chase Flaherty up the middle and nowhere to go. It's going to be about a two-yard loss back to about the 21. Simon Kenton sniffed that one out quick. Yeah, Simon Kenton, they're just saying, look, we're going to come at you. We're going to come at you from different angles. We're going to bring multiple guys. And right there, they just brought two guys up the right A-gap and the uh, and, and over over the right tackle of the Tigers, and they just were able to stuff the run. Just a, and another great play because of that pressure. Call it third down and 13. The ball spotted out on the Simon Kenton 21. Clock is running. Two minutes, 11 seconds left to go in the third quarter. But I will say, Mark, that sellout. Is good. You're, you're going to give up touchdowns yeah. when you sell out like that. Clay Hayden in the shotgun. Chase Flaherty joins him in the backfield. Two receivers to either side. Big third down play here. Clay gets a snap. Looks to his right. Looks back to his left. Now under pressure and sack. Brought down at the 25-yard line. Clay looked off the safeties to his right. Came back to his left. Didn't see a guy open. He got sacked. Yeah, coverage sack right there. Uh, Josh Bowling, just who has played a great game tonight, and another one of a long line of great Simon Kenton linebackers. He came off uh, off the left side of the defense and pushed back the uh, Beachwood offensive line, and then just ripped under him and, and just engulfed Clay Hayden. Tigers are going to try a field goal here, and after they set it up, the ball is going to be spotted on the 32-yard line. Colson Lair is coming out for a 42-yard field goal. It's right down the center. He's not on either hash. One field goal attempt this year, and he hit that field goal. 42-yarder here by Colson Come Lair. Come on, Colson. Snap is down. The kick is up. It's got the leg. I think that's good. It's that's good. good. What a big field goal. 42-yard field goal, Colson Lair. Okay, again, I want to say... Kudos to Colson Lair for that monster leg. But what a hold by Sean yep. Souter. Yep. That snap was a little bit low. He brought it in. Smooth, smooth. Nothing bothers Sean Souter. Brings it in, puts it up, and boom, right through the uprights. Great job, Colson Lair. With 105 to go in the third quarter, Beach with 37, Simon Kenton 28. Thanks for tuning in. Quick break right back after this. Go Tigers. Yeah. Kickers just walking yeah. the halls of Beachwood all the time. <laughs> I mean, unbelievable that you think about the years of great kickers that have just come on. Hey, I'll try. Uh oh, uh -oh. Colson uh -oh. Lair's kickoff is returned. Uh oh. And Simon Ken pioneers out to the 50, 45, down to the 41. Simon Ken's going to have great field position. Luke Scheiber on a big kick return down to the Beachwood 41. Well, look who was on the bottom of that tackle there too, Colson Lair. Yeah, yeah Colson. not only can he yeah. kick the snot out of the ball, but he's uh, he's tough. He's a tough young man too. Um, yeah, just a, uh, a, a a big play for Simon Kenton there, not what we wanted to see. But that field goal, Mark Talley, huge, huge, huge. 55 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Clock stops. Simon Kenton coming out. They've been in the hurry up all night. They'll stay in it. Their quarterback, Brady Lee, lines up. Two receivers to his left, two to his right. 
Darrell Turner joins him in the backfield. Hands it off. He keeps it. Lee's down about the 40, down to the 32. Going to pick up about <coughs> seven, eight yards on first down. Second yeah. and two. Simon Kenton. Eight-yard pickup right there. And they're just, I mean, they're just running the ball at will on the right side. Uh, you know, just doing a great job trapping with straight on blocking, zone blocking, just doing whatever they want. Snap goes back, hands it to Turner this time. Turner comes down at the 25, cuts back in. 120, going to be brought down at about the 22. First down, Simon Kenton. Yeah, 10-yard run there, and again, right behind Abbasellum, who made a great seal block uh, to, to uh, allow Turner to cut back inside to pick up extra yardage. Two receivers again to each side, Lee in the shotgun. Turner lines up to his right. Hands it to Turner. Turner slips as he cuts back. Going to be tackled right at about the line of scrimmage here, second and 10. Yeah, Turf Monster there got uh, Darrell Turner, and uh, I, I don't think he would have made it too much further even if he hadn't fallen. Might be the last play of the third quarter. We'll see. It is. Uh, yeah, they, that's they it. didn't get yeah. it off. With uh, the end of the third quarter, Beachwood leading Simon Kenton, 37-28 on a 43-yard field goal by Colson Lair. We'll take a real quick time out here, catch our breath. Uh, here's a fourth quarter going. Go Tigers! Darrell Turner joins him in the backfield. And he hands it off to Turner. Turner takes a handoff inside the 20, 15, down about the 11. Going to be maybe a first down. Going to be real close. Yeah, I think They're going to give it to him. Yeah, a 10-yard pickup there. And Turner, uh, you know, again, because of that line, just really, you know, all he has to do is pick, the, be patient and find the opening. Lee gets a snap, hands it to Turner again, who cuts back up on to his left at the 10, takes it inside the 10, down about the 7. Uh, again, Abba Selman and the left guard pull right there, and, and you know, they, they, they are so perfect at the way they execute that. All he's got to do is turn that corner, and, he's, and he got his hand on a defender pushing back three yards. Two receivers either side, Lee in the shotgun. Again, hands it to Turner, keeps it this time. He kept it. Didn't really get much. It's going to be third down, call it four. Ball spotted just outside of the Beachwood five. Nice stop there. Yeah, Jack Meyer, Chase Flaherty in on the tackle for the Tigers. This is an important stop, Martelli. Goal line stand right here would be huge. Lee in the shotgun, one receiver to his right, two to his left. He gets a snap, it's low. Hands it to Turner, Turner's gonna take yeah. it in. Yeah, right behind Jake Putoff, easy. Touchdown, not even touched. Nice play there by the quarterback, Brady Lee. How the snap was low and he scooped it up off the turf, handed it to Turner, takes it in. 37-34 is our score now, extra point pending. Cole Garnett, who's been perfect on extra points all night. I think, hasn't he? No. Mm -hmm. He missed one. That's right. It's like a week ago I was saying, oh, we haven't had an overtime game ever. I, I, heard, heard, I, I, that may, one have, I may have heard from <laughs> about that one from a few. We yeah. took, we took some heat mean? for that one. You knuckleheads. You guys have <laughs> caught a couple of overtime I'm trying days. to explain you. have no <laughs> idea what it's like. You have no idea. To be in that booth for a game like that. Simon Kitten down the block. That's that's good. Good. Ah, boy. Huge. Luke Lerman on the block. Yeah. So with 10.57 left to go in the game, Beachwood 37, Simon Kenton 34. We will take catch our breath here, take a real quick break. Sorry about the music, folks. Can't do anything about it. Come back right after this. Go Tigers.
down to the finish. Well, it's just like last week, Martell. Yeah. Big boy football time, no right? No doubt about that. Garnett takes a kickoff, kicks it deep over towards Cusick. Cusick catches it at the 10, 20, out to the 15. Oh, he's got, got a hole. hole. Out to about the 12, 35. Call it nice return out by Cusick. They're going to spot it at the 36, first and 10 Tigers. All right, so now you're in a situation where you, they're going to have to find a way to protect because right now, Coach uh, Lucas and his defensive staff know that they are they are really controlling once again like they did in that second quarter. They're controlling the trenches big yeah. time right now. Uh, you know they've got Z Xavier Campbell's not in the game, and that's a that's a big loss for Beachwood. They're gonna ha this offensive line gonna have to protect. Clay Hayden comes out in a shotgun. Flaherty joins him in the backfield. Two receivers to either side of him. He gets a snap, looks over to Flaherty, looks up the middle now, and throws it complete. There you go. The Fryman picks up about a nice seven eight yard pickup up to the forty three yard line. Fryman's got sure hands too, doesn't he, Murph? Yes, he does. Uh, you know, for you know, you think about what that's what he's going to be next year, the year after, and the year after. <laughs> I mean, he will. He by the time he's a senior, he'll be one of the. It, 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 we know he's already going to be one of the best baseball players in the state. Yeah. But, the, but boy, the talent he brings, the talent, the instincts, the vision, the toughness that he brings to the football field. We knew he was going to be a contributor this year. Not sure people knew just how big of yeah. a piece, a weapon he was going to be. I mean, he is really, really good. Second down of three Tigers lined up at their own 43. Xander Riggler joins Chase Flaherty in the backfield now. Hayden gets a handoff, hands it to Flaherty. Flaherty goes to his left, picked up a first down and more out to about midfield, down about the Simon Kenton 45. He's still going down about the 46, first yeah, down nice, Tigers. Nice, nice job. Run. Yeah, nice job. And I, and I like the look of bringing Z uh, Z uh, Xander Riggler to – uh, play H back, full back, and just again give it a little bit different look, and maybe offer a little bit of protection. Uh, but again, you know, maybe he, maybe he's the benefactor of, of you know a handoff or a pass yeah. out of the backfield. We've seen what he can do, so no doubt. let's do it. Let's bring Xander in, give him, give him some uh, time. So 9:38 remain, 37-34, Beachwood with the lead. And fourth, the fourth quarter here, and the Tigers are in no hurry. That's good because the clock is not running. No, no, don't be. Ball is spotted on the Simon Kenton 47. Three receivers to Hayden's right, two to his left. He gets a snap, looks to his right, looks to his right again. Oh, throws deep. Protection. Here we go. Simon again, open at the fifth. Again, four four two, two, Holly, again, again, 47 yards. Tyler Simon, three touchdowns on the night. Fantastic wow. pump fake again by Clay Hayden. They had some time. Wow. The offensive line gave him time and a beautiful dime yeah. to Fryman. Touchdown, yeah, I mean that's, that's, uh, I mean, that's as beautiful as it gets right there. And, and kudos to that offensive line. They held that big, strong defensive front just enough to give Clay the chance to get, get a good footing and sling the ball down the field. Tyler Fryman. Unbelievable. A star is born on the gridiron tonight, Mark Talley. Colton Lair out for the extra point. Snap is down, kick is up, and it is easily good. <laughs> Nine <laughs> minutes and 15 seconds left to go in the game. Beachwood 44, Simon Kenton 34. Thanks, everyone, again for tuning in. Quick break right back after this. Go Tigers. Yes, sir. of Beachwood High School, Colson Lair kicking off the Simon Kenton Pioneers, Beachwood leading 44-34. Kick is down, a nice kick deep inside the 10. It's going to bounce, unfortunately, out of bounds again. Colson does a nice job on this kickoff, so you want to try to pin him over in the corner there. Unfortunately, that yeah. one kicked out of bounds. Well, and let's remember, this is his first year ever playing yes. football. Yeah. I mean, I, you know, so he's got he's got to figure this part of it out, right? And, yeah. and once he figures that out, you know, he's going to be a marksman, you know? But, yeah. uh, but, but really again, is. I mean, what a play there to, to put the ball into the end zone again. I mean, just say it took all 11 players on yeah. that play to make that happen. That beautiful protection from the offensive line. Wow. Uh, Tyler Fryman with a perfect route run there. Got separation and a beautiful 
as you like to say, dime from Clay Hayden. I tell you what, Hayden's got to be getting close to 400 yards again tonight. Simon Kenton comes out first and 10 on their own 35. Lee in the shotgun, three receivers to his left. He is going to hand it to Turner. Turner comes up at about the 40, 47, 45. Man, he's getting eight, 10 yards every chunk. Yeah, and they're, again, they're just they're, they're, they're saying, look, we got, we got the best offensive tackle in the state. We're using him. We're going to run Turner behind him every time, and, and they're just gashing us right now. Tyson Erger with the tackle on the play. First and 10 Pioneers. Lee's looking, throws to his left, complete out there. Caught by the Simon Kenton Pioneers. Going to be brought down at about the 40, 41 yard line. That play was by Kitchens. Kitchens caught it. He's going to be a first down at the Beachwood 41. And you have to give credit to Brady Lee tonight again. This is, this is uh, he's very early in his football career, and he's, his mid-range game is good. Yeah, sure is. Lee gets a snap, fakes a hand Whoa. off. Man, unfortunate, because that was a fumble, but they called false start on Simon Kenton. Yeah, that's break. good and that's bad. Yeah, <laughs> that's, a that's, that's a big time break right there for Simon Kenton. That snap was fumbled. It's going to cost him five yards. They're going to spot the ball now out, uh, outside right at about the 46. It's going to be first down and 15 for Simon Kenton. 8.42 to go in the game. Beachwood 44, Simon Kenton 34. Three receivers to Lee's right, one to his left. He gets it, hands it off to Turner again, going left and has some room. Yeah. Picks up in <laughs> inside the 40, down about the 39. Back to the original line of scrimmage a little better. It's going to be second down and eight. Yeah, and a great block again. A, a trap from the right to the left side. Jake Putoff, the, uh, the gigantic right guard with a just a tremendous block to open the lane for Turner. Three receivers again. Lee gets a snap, looks right, throws right again, complete. Out to about the inside, the 25, down about the 21 of Beachwood. That was caught by Carter Blades. Yeah, great throw, great yeah. route. I mean, you know, again, I, you know, I, I certainly don't want to be critical of Lee as a quarterback overall. He's definitely not a slinger, but, man, his mid-range game looks really good tonight. Lee gets a snap again, hands it to Turner. Turner takes it down inside the Beachwood 20. He'll get about six on that play, down about the 17. It's all right here for the Beachwood defense to bend. Just uh, don't break. Somehow, some way, stop them down yeah, here. I, you know, I, I, Mark, if, if we can, I, I hope we can go back and watch this game just to see how, how great of a game Abbasalm is playing. Yeah. Again, there it is. the handoff, Lee keeps great it. Great job, And Tigers. a nice tackle there. It's going to be short of the first down. It'll bring up about a third and two, third and three maybe, down around the 15. He faked the handoff to Turner and kept it. Yeah, great job by Xander Riggler and, and Luke Erdman there to not allow themselves to get sucked up by Abbasalm trapping around the right side. Third down and three. Simon Kenton gets a ball. The snap goes to Lee. He hands it to Turner this time. He takes it up the middle. He's going to have the first down about the 10-yard line. Clock is running 7-14. They're going to stop at a bid here to reset the down markers. You know, at this point, we're starting to get to a point where the clock, yeah, clock, clock running is, is definitely a uh, friend to the Tigers. Hand off to Turner again. He goes outside left. He's going to cut yeah. it back in. Touchdown. Yeah, I mean, it's just, I mean, he didn't even get touched. Yeah. I mean, it was just a, you know, three different linemen for, for Simon Kenton just covered a Beachwood defender, and he had open field. I mean, he could have walked into the end zone. Nice play there by Simon Kenton. The score is 44 to 40 now. The extra point pending. Seven minutes and two seconds left to go in this ball game. Thanks everyone again no. for tuning in. <laughs> the lonesome polecat. Oh, oh, they they are going to go for two. Oh, yeah, Simon okay. Kenton uh, attempted to uh, to run uh, the conversion in out of the lonesome, the old the old yeah. fashioned lonesome polecat uh, formation with all the linemen on the right right hash and just a center quarterback and a receiver out here. That was. You don't see that too often anymore. Well, that was for show because it looks like now they're going to do just a plain old extra point that counts for one. That's a Owen Howe, Lynn Ray, <laughs> Tom <laughs> yeah. Duffy kind of thing right there. Snap is down. The kick is up and blocked, blocked again. again. Blocked Huge again. Erdman. Yeah. Yeah. Second block. Point after touchdown tonight. Well, you know, Mark, he catches it. You know, he plays a great corner. You know, he can, he can run it. I mean, he wow. can just do everything. I mean, again, if you think about the importance of those those two blocks, I mean, it's yeah. huge right now because it's, it takes Four a field goal out of the yeah. equation. Four-point game. We'll stay right here with you. Reset things. Seven minutes and two seconds left to go in this game. Beachwood leading 44-40. to 40. Simon Kenton just scored a touchdown. Extra point blocked again by Luke Erdman. Beachwood is going to get the ball. Have a chance here, Murph, to yes. lead a little bit of clock. Yeah. Score a touchdown <coughs> here. Maybe put it out of reach. We'll uh, see. I got a couple finals. Yeah. Uh, 21 nothing Lloyd over uh, Bardstown Bethlehem at the end of the third quarter. Final, Covenant Catholic 31, Dixie 24. 
Final, Highlands 52 to 20 over Ryle. Wow. Final, 28 to 15 Newport over Boone County. Uh, Mayfield did win tonight, 41 to seven. Kentucky Country Day crushed. Fifteen, twenty, twenty-five takes it out to about the twenty-eight yard line. Beachwood sets up first and ten. Nice uh, special teams coverage. You gotta yep. get, gotta give him credit. The the, the special teams, uh, the kickoff team for Simon Kenton, not allowing Urban or Cusick to get uh, to get too far up the field. And here we go again. Correction. That was Luke Urban on, but he he got it out to about the twenty-eight yard line. First and ten, Tigers. 6.56 left to go in the game. Clock is stopped. Clay Hayden getting the play from Greg Herget. Want to try to eat some time here. Tough play calls coming well, up here for Beachwood. And ex go. expect to see Simon Kenton with some serious blitzing on this, on this series. They need to get the ball, ball back quickly. Hayden in the shotgun. Looks to his right. Throws back to his left. Complete. First down. Stays in bounds. Going to be a first down. Urban catches it down at about the 39-yard line of Beachwood. The clock will stop briefly. Chains will move. First down. It's clock running. 6:46 left in the game. Nice first down pickup. Yeah, and on that one, that no, no blitz there. Just uh, straight up. They were they were playing, uh, you know, in their normal positions. Let's see if they change that up here on this play. I expect them to do so. Clay Hayden in no hurry, obviously. 6.30 left to go in the game, clock running. Gets a play from Greg Herget. The Tigers are huddling up. Coming out three receivers to Hayden's right, one to his left, and that's Cusick. Chase Flaherty joins him in the backfield. Snap to Hayden, hands off to Flaherty. Nothing really doing there. Going to get back to the line of scrimmage, second and 10. Yeah, hit immediately by, uh, I believe that was Cohen Schmidt, the, uh, the Monster nose tackle, 6'5", 330 pounds, and he is uh, as good a run stuffer as you'll see in the state of Kentucky. And nice job right there. They're going to pull him off, give him a little bit of a breather. Let's see if we go back to the run. Clock is he's off the field. Clock is running, 551 and counting in the game. Beachwood in no hurry at all. Clay Hayden breaks the huddle. Ball spotted on the Beachwood, 39. Second down and 10. Three receivers to Hayden's right, two to his left. Empty backfield. Hayden gets the ball, looks quickly to his right, throws to his left on a little bubble screen. Going to pick up some positive yards out to about the 43, call it. Going to bring up about a third and six. Yeah, that was an, a nice play there. Uh, Nick Alexander with a nice block to uh, to get the, to allow the ball carry to get a few more yards. Tiger, uh, Tiger player down. I believe that's Luke Urban. Yeah. The good news is he's cramping. They're pulling his leg up here and trying to stretch it out. That's either, um, well, I I don't want to guess who it is. I'll tell you after he gets up. It's third down and six. The ball spotted on the Beachwood 43. We've got five minutes, 26 seconds left to go in the game. Beachwood leading 44 to 40. Thank you folks for tuning in to this. Really, again, two weeks in a <laughs> room. Yeah. I've aged 15 years in two I'm weeks. Gonna, I'll sleep till five tomorrow. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, yeah, I think the... Actually, before we get to the game, I just want to congratulate uh, Coach Ju uh, Justin Wire and the freshman football team. Uh, they knocked off Cooper last night, 44 to 19, Big for win. their third straight win. Uh, Bo Souter, uh, freshman quarterback. How about I believe four touchdown passes and a touchdown run, two two uh, touchdowns to um, uh, Chase uh, Cole Coppage, yeah. uh, and uh, one to uh, one to Jake Holbrook and. Uh, you know, that freshman team, just so many stars. I mean, this team, they, you know, that freshman team is going to be an absolute gauntlet for teams to go through in the coming years. Third down and six, Tiger. Sean Souter comes out for Urban. I believe that was Urban who had the cramps. Two receivers to his left, two to his right. Watch for Flyman here. Chase Flaherty joins him in the backfield. Here comes Aiden pressure. Aiden gets a snap. They're getting that blitz picked up. Throws it out to Flaherty in the flat. He's at the 40. Might get the first down. Is to cut it back at the 45. Nice cut. He, he got, got it. Big pick up. Chase Flaherty. Okay. All night long with the cutbacks. And again, that's just a smart football player knowing exactly wow. what to do. He may, jo it looked like uh, it looked like the uh, Josh Over the uh, the linebacker was going to bring him down about two yards short, but he knew the linebacker was yep. coming. He knew it was coming, Great so cut. he stepped back and cut back and picked up the first down. Then you can 
What a weapon out of the backfield Chase has become. I, I think, Mark, that's his sixth catch tonight. Huge play. Four minutes, 49 seconds, clock ticking. 44 to 40, Beachwood leading, ball spotted at midfield. Three receivers line up to Clay Hayden's left, one to his right. Chase Flaherty joins him in the backfield. Gets the ball, rolls out to his right, throws that to Get it, Chase yeah, Flaherty. Why not? Why wide not? Open. At the 50, 45, 40. Has it the block. That's a huge block. 20 shots out of 15 coming back inside the 10. Almost good it's news no at flag, the first no down. Flags. No, no flags. flags. It's going to be a first down Tigers, and they can run some clock. It's 44 to 40. 426, the clock stopped. The ball spotted off the Simon Kenton six yard line. A quick flat throw out to the flat. Chase made it happen. Yeah, it's the problem with the sellouts, right? Yep. You just leave, you, could, you know, especially if it's with your linebackers, you're leaving the middle of the field yep. wide open, and, they, and they, they've picked that apart all night long. But one thing I want to say again, it's the blocking from these Beachwood receivers. Sean yep. Souter with an absolute clear out block right around the 20, the 18 yard line to, to allow Flaherty to get down to the six. Great block, Sean Souter. Great play call and a great catch by Chase. Uh, just <laughs> no, just big time football, Mark Dowie again. Two, two in the backfield with Hayden. Two receivers to his right. He gets the ball, pitches to the Flaherty going left inside the five, down to about the three, jump, stays in bounds. Clock is running, that's key. It's gonna be second down and goal. He might've got to about the four. Simon Kenton calls a timeout. We'll stay right here <laughs> with you. Simon Kenton calls their first time out of the second half. Three minutes and 38 seconds to go. Beachwood's got the ball second down and goal from the Simon Kenton four. Well, Mark, you, po you pointed it out too. What a what a smart, heady play by Flaherty yep, there. He gets the pitch around the left side. He gets run towards the sideline and then stops and launches himself into the defense to keep the clock rolling and, and force the timeout. You know, Flaherty's just played a tremendous game tonight. And, and again, you have to give credit in this situation to be in this situation, you have to give credit to this offensive line. Brody yeah. Waddell comes yes. in for the uh, injured Xavier Campbell. Uh, it, uh, and, you know, he's playing right tackle, and it moves uh, um, Maddox Kelly to left tackle. Yep. You know, so you know, it just throws everything off. And sometimes in that situation, especially when you're talking about this is Maddox Kelly's first year as a varsity offensive line starter. Yep. This is Brody Waddell's first year as a, a varsity online, a offensive line starter. Yep. They're both doing a great job. Sure you know, they're, they're, it's, just, it's a big-time situation where when, when you make that move, you're looking at that two, those two young men and saying, listen, it's time to grow up. Yeah. It's time to go <laughs> out there and no play doubt. big boy football. No and doubt. again, for Maddox Kelly, he's up against yep. Abba Sell. Yep. A Division doing a one football recruiting. He's doing a great job. Yes. He's not. Now, is, is he sometimes losing battles in there? Sure he is, but he's not allowing himself to get completely dominated. Yeah. Beachwood's going to take over second down and four. Three minutes and 38 seconds left to go in the game. Chase Flaherty joins Clay Hayden in the backfield. Three receivers line up to his right, one to his left. Hayden gets a ball, looks to his left, looks at single coverage, throws it a little outside. He's throwing into the single coverage over there with Cusick, I believe, or Urban. The ball fell incomplete at about the goal line. <laughs> well, you know, it, it, the, the middle was wide open there, and if yeah. Luke Urban would have cut left, there wouldn't have been anybody within 15 yards of him. Again, right now, I, you know, Coach uh, Lucas, and I know what he's thinking. He's like, we're going to get picked apart if we don't. Yeah. You know, so, and, but if you drop him back, then, you know, it, it's a no-win situation right now for Coach Lucas because Clay Hayden in this offense is just so – so weapon filled. Three minutes, 33 to go. Third down and four ball on the Simon Ken four. This is a huge play. Three receivers Let's line up. do it again. To Hayden's right, two to his left. Watch for Urban over the middle. He gets it. That's right. a oh. snap to Freeman in the Wildcat. He's in for the score. Put him on. Touchdown. Freeman on the Wildcat. <laughs> Tyler Freeman, Wildcat, runs it to the left side, launches himself into the end zone. What a play call. Wow. What a run by Tyler Freeman. Another touchdown for the freshman. And beats um, it now leads 50 to 40. Unbelievable. I didn't even see it was Freeman back there. In, Playing quarterback, he gets a snap, runs to his left behind great block and dives into the end zone six. Three minutes, 28 seconds left to go in this game. Beachwood 50, Simon Kenton 40. Colson Lair out for the extra point. Snap is back, hold is down, the flag is out, maybe, or they're stopping it. What are they calling here? Beachwood false start. start, gonna move it back five yards. For Colson Lair, this is easy. Right, I mean, he kicked a 43-yard field goal early in the game. Yes, no a, problem, sophomore, a sophomore no problem. kicker kicked a 43-yard field goal and no had about a no yard problem. <laughs> Unbelievable. Colson has been fantastic. Comes out again. It's going to be five yards back. They're spotting it down at the 15.
3.28 to go. Snap is back, hold is up, kick is up, and it is good. With three minutes and 28 seconds left to go in the game, Peach with 51. That's right, 51. Simon Kenton, 40. Thanks for tuning in. Unbelievable, Mark Talley. Fantastic this football. Offense. Woo. We'll be right back after this. Go Tigers. Back live on the campus of Beachwood. 3.28 to go in the game. Beachwood 51, Simon Ken 40. Colson Lair out for the kickoff. So let's talk about resi resiliency yeah. and toughness. Xavier Campbell goes out at the beginning of the second half. This team could have folded. This yep. team could have could have wilted under the pressure of not having the heart and soul of their team. And But boy, Mark Talley, they did just the opposite. And Colson Lair just launched a kickoff into the end zone, which is huge. You don't want to give Simon Ken any big yardage. Now they're going to have to bring it from their own 20. Yeah, I mean the it, clock yeah. is against them big time. Three big time. They've got speedy returners that can yep. get out to the 30, 40 yep. easily. Great kick. Man, so many big things from Colson Lair tonight. Unbelievable. This season. Yeah. You know, I, you, with Jay Conrad, Matthew Kappas, and now uh, <laughs> Colson Lair. I mean, these kids have just come off the, come off the, you know, out of the cafeteria. Like, hey, I think I'm going to kick. <laughs> and uh, I'm just unbelievable what these kids have done. Really. Brady Lee in the shotgun. Three receivers to his left. They might have to start throwing the ball now. They are. Start. Brady yeah, hit it. I'll start left tackle. Five more yards tacked back against Simon Kinn. That's going to spot the ball at the 50 now. It's going to be a first yeah. and 15. Yeah, and you, see, you can start yeah. to see the rattle. Then you can see the body English frustration. Yeah. And they know that this is going to take uh, a miracle to come back now. And again, Mark, we talked about Brady Lee. Not He's not a yeah. slinger. He's yeah. not a Clay Hayden. So it's going to be tough for them to move the ball down the field. And they can't really stick to running the, running the ball like they've done because yeah. they're going to run themselves out of the out of the game. 326 now. First down at 15. Ball spotted back on the Simon Kenton 15. Three receivers line up to Brady Lee's left, one to his right. Darrell Turner joins him in the backfield. Look a little bit confused here, not knowing what the play is. Yeah, it's, they're just rattled. I mean, they did, they they thought they had the game. They thought they 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 really thought that they were about to take control of this game. But Fish, they just kept coming back. They just kept fighting. They just kept coming up big. See Let's what they're see doing here. The refs are asking to add some more time on the clock. Maybe it's saying 3:29 now. It's first down and 15, and I think we're ready to go. Lee in the shotgun. Turner in the backfield, three receivers to his left, one to his right. Lee gets a ball, looks to his right, throws deep downfield. Talon Linder with the incomplete pass, and Talon a great job tackling. Incomplete to Kitchens. Yeah, and, and, and again, I, you know, should have that that pass should have been completed, but that's yep. just not his game yet. It will yep. be, but it's not his game yet. You know, once you get past 15 to 20 yards, it's going to be really tough for him to complete any of those passes. Lee in the shotgun again. He gets a ball rolling to his right, still rolling to his right. Has some room, comes up, throws, incomplete. Not really near anyone there. That ball fell incomplete at about the 30. It's going to bring up a big third down and 15 here for Simon Kenton. Mark, this is what this Beachwood team does, right? They never give up. They never quit. They keep coming back. And that that puts even even really good teams and really good quarterbacks, puts them, it gets them in that rattle stage where yeah. they start panicking. They start making throws too early. Lee again in shotgun. Three receivers He's going. Hand it to Turner this time. And Turner's got it at the 20, 25. Out the oh, there it is. I think we got it. Bumbles I think we got it. See what they mark it. It's going to be fourth oh, down. They they Simon Kenton got it back as fourth down. It's going to be fourth down. Call it 13. The ball spotted at the 19. They're going to go quick here. Lee coming out. This is fourth down. This is ball game here for Simon Kenton. Three receivers to Lee's left. Turner joins him in the backfield. He's rolling to his left. Still rolling. Looking. Throws. Complete big, out big for play. first down at about the 35. Complete to Kitchens again. Yeah, nice play by Brady Lee again. I, you know, he's just looked at various points through this game. His mid-range game has looked really, really good. Sure has. Clock running, 241. Lee in the shotgun. Three receivers to his right. Turner floats out to his left. Lee looks to his right again. Rolls out to his right a little further. Got some Tigers coming at him. Throws. Complete. Out to about the 34. The runner goes and tackled quickly down at about the 36. Yeah, Brody Ayler in uh, at linebacker with the nice uh, tackle there in the middle of the field. The sophomore 
uh, much like his older brother who has uh, graduated, Landon Hour, tough, tough young buck there that's going to be a big time player for this team. Lee in the, the shotgun, ahead. three to his left. He's looking to his left, throws deep down the middle, has a man open, trips over a Beachwood guy, looks incidental, no flag. Yeah, no flag on that, and definitely incidental. And, uh, you know, valiant effort by the receiver to, to, to you know, kind of turn his body because it was thrown a little bit behind him. But, you know, again, in incomplete and... Third down and eight. James Cusick on the cover, Jaron. He just tripped over him. It was Grayson Harris who tripped on him there. No call. Third down and eight ball on the 42. Lee in the shotgun. Looks to his left. Throws out to his left. Complete again to Kitchens. Kitchens gets it at the 50 inside the 50 to the 46. But again, the clock is their enemy yep. down to 158 to go in the game. Beachwood leading 51 to 40. Setting up again at the 46. Three receivers to Lee's right. Gets a snap, hands it this time to Turner. Turner takes it at the 40. Uh -oh. to the he might do oh it. Boy. 20, 10, <laughs> oh 5, boy. touchdown. 46 yard touchdown. And again, I spoke too soon, I think. Yeah. Maybe sometimes if you've got one of the best offensive lines in the state, maybe no matter what, you just do what you do best and, and pray that something opens up. And it did right there. Again, just another s simple trap play. And the uh, offensive linemen just did exactly what they were supposed to do and they opened the way for Turner. See if Simon Kenton's going to go for two here. They are because the, the score is 51 to 46. Six. Kicking an extra point, it'll be a four-point lead. They're going to go for two. No? The yes, yeah, they are. are. Yep. Yes, they are. Yep. Lee was in the shotgun. Now Beachwood is going to call a timeout. We'll stay right here with you. Beachwood calls their second timeout of the half. They've got one left. They're leading Simon Kenton 51 to 46. One minute and 41 seconds left in this game. Simon Kenton just scored on a 42-yard touchdown by Darrell Turner. Takes it to make the score 51 to 46, Simon Kenton lining up for a two-point conversion. Well done. We that was impressive. Take, take, yeah, take yourself a breath. Uh, <laughs> quick shout-out to our guy, Nazario Pangala, yes. down at the University of Alabama for his freshman year. Uh, he, uh, because of his immense amount, amount of talent, uh, was able to secure a job with, the, uh, with the Alabama's game day uh, football staff, uh, he, and he published his first article, which we're going to put nice. on all of our social media feeds. Nice. Red Zone Rewind, looking back at the history of Alabama versus Texas by oh. Rosario Pangallo. Oh. Uh, again, it's on the game day Alabama football website. Nice. Uh, big things ahead for Rosario Pangallo. No Buddy, we are so, no so proud of you. It's about it. He That's is big a time. Good, That's good big time. kid, a good egg. Two-point conversion here, Simon Kenton. Lining up for 141 to go. Turner in the backfield. Lee gets it, hands it to him. Turner goes up the middle, and he's going to get in. So that's going to make the score 51-48. Beachwood's going to have a three-point lead. I believe Simon Kenton, it says four timeouts up on the scoreboard. That's wrong. I think they've got at least two. Beachwood has two. one. We're going to get the ball back here. Beachwood's going to get the ball back here. Um, with 141 to go, we'll stay right here with you. Thanks, everyone, again for tuning in. Two weeks in a row, Murph. We've scored almost 50 points. Average them together, we have scored 50 points. Yeah, we're, we're, yeah, we're uh, we, we come into tonight with uh, you know averaging 43.3 points a game, uh, you know, which is good for I believe tied for 11th in the state with our friends from Paris, Kentucky, yeah. Paris High School. Um, you know, it, it just uh, it, it's amazing what a great job uh, Jay Volker and Greg Herget, Bob Burnett, and, and all those guys have done to to get this offense you know, hitting on all cylinders this early in the season. Keep you an know. eye out here, Merv, on, on, on a kick. Yes, here. yeah. You know, some kind of squib, maybe onside. We see got, what they yeah, do. Hans team is definitely in. You can see Fryman, Riggler, uh, Cusick, and I believe that's Luke Sleet on the front line with Jack Meyer, who, for a man his size, has really good hands. 141 to go in the game, and the kick is onside, and the ball will bounce, and it hits a No, no, it's not 10 yards. Simon it went Kenton nine. It went ten. nine. Yeah, it went nine. Simon Kenton. Got no. the ball, no, 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 sir, yards. did not go 10, Beachwood's going to take over, I believe, we'll wait here and see. Yeah, they're going to talk about it, but that did not go. It didn't go yeah, 10 yards, is. no yeah. doubt. Beachwood's got the ball on the Simon Kenton 49. The yeah. ball has to travel on an onside kick. The ball has to travel 10 yards before a Simon Kenton player could touch it. It didn't. It only went 9 yards. Simon Kenton guy caught it. But yeah, it's it was, a, it was a great yeah. attempt. It just didn't. It just fell just a little yep. bit short. If that goes another another inch, yep. that's a first down for Simon Kenton. The Simon Kenton faithful were very upset. The sidelines very upset. But, but good call. I think the people that know what they're looking yep. at know they just missed it. 
Fantastic call there by the rest. Beachwood takes over first and 10 from the Simon Kenton 49 yard line. Obviously, Sean Souter in at quarterback now. Don't know if there's an injury to Clay Hayden or not. Sean Souter's coming in to QB. Well, I think we got Luke Erdman at quarterback. Oh, Luke's playing QB. Wildcat again, I'm sorry. We'll figure it out here. The snap comes back to Luke. Here he's going to run blitz. to his left, and he's going to cut it back and go back outside. <laughs> look at this. Look at this. Move. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look He's gone. 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 He's I'm going to put the ball in my best player's hand, stop him, stop him, and guess what? Wow. They couldn't do it. What a run, what toughness, what athleticism, what an incredible play call, what an incredible run by Luke Erdman. I, I, I cannot believe that run. There were four guys for Simon Kenton who had angles yeah, on him no, and I should have tackled yeah. He broke them. I broke their will. Wow. Colson Lee wow. out for the extra I continue. Point. I listen. I, I've seen that young man play great football since he was five years old. It just I, I shouldn't be surprised by any of this, but my goodness, he just continues to wow me. Extra point is up and good. We'll stay right here with you. You might as well. You don't have, have to hear any of that music anymore. <laughs> Beachwood 58. Fuck, what do you do to defend this you team? Do, what do you do? Weapons yeah. everywhere. I mean, just, and, I, and listen, we have watched. Let's talk about Greg Hurdy for, for a little bit. Yeah. We've watched him for seven years yep. just absolutely demolish teams. Yep. We've watched him create offenses that are masterful, that are multi-tiered, yep. that have gadgets, that have, that have great backs, great receivers. And every single year, he just gets better and better. Yep. I mean, this guy's the best offensive coordinator in the state of Kentucky. Yep. I mean, look at what he's doing this year. Look at the, the amount of coaching to get all these young players to this level right now. It's yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. Hats off to you, Ray Hergett. No Hats doubt. off to you, Bob Burnett. Hats Man. off to you, Jay Volker. Unbelievable. This is a big win. Huge. Dude, again, the same thing we talked about the end last week, resilience and yep. toughness. They got it all, man. I tell you what, that run by Luke Urban was eye-opening. <laughs> Coulson <laughs> Laird's <laughs> yeah. kick off, and again, a nice kick. It's going to go at about the 20, fielded by the Simon Kenton receiver, takes it out to 25, out to the 30. He's got some room, cuts Come it on, back. Oh boy. oh, boy, here we go. Good to take sure again. Yeah. Got him down about the 42. The clock is definitely Simon Kenton's enemy now. 117 to go in the game. Yeah, nice job by Peyton Shore right there. He's played a, a well of a game yeah. on uh, on kick coverage. That's I believe his third, third or fourth tackle tonight. And again, uh, you know, if he doesn't get in front in front of uh, the returner right there for the Pioneers, that one might go to the house. I think that was Kitchens there. He yeah. got that ball back to ball spot on the Beachwood 43. Simon Kenton has been in a hurry up since about last Friday. They are going quick here and. Uh, Brady Lee's going to come out again in the shotgun. Darrell Turner lines up to his right. Three receivers to his left. Lee gets a snap. Looks to his left. Has some time. Keeps looking to his left. Throws out there. Complete to Kitchens. Kitchens catches it to 38. He's going to be brought down. They're kind of wanting a late hit. They're not going to get it. The ball's down at the yeah, 38. Yeah, you got a lot, a lot of upset Simon Kenton people right now, both in the stands and on the sidelines. Uh, I, you know, do I think that that was on the margins? Sure, but do I think that a flag should have been thrown there? Absolutely not. Yeah, they were absolutely not. That's good. That's good, solid football. And I understand everybody's upset, but uh, for on the Simon Kenton side, but uh, I mean, they're a little bit too much. We're going to do a quick reset here for you. Stay right here with you over the Boo Birds. The ball is spotted on the Beachwood 38. It is uh, second down and five. Simon Kenton, 57 seconds left in the game. Beachwood 58. Yes, I said 58. Simon Kitten 48. Si I mean, this game has been a blur. Right. You know, know what I love about that urban field. run? That was, you know, they, <laughs> uh, Coach Lucas and his staff, they just keep running Turner behind Abba Selm and Jake, <laughs> Jake Puthoff. Uh, guess what? Greg Hurd and Jay Volker just said, well, guess what? <laughs> we're gonna, now we're going we're gonna to throw our best at you. Yeah. We're going to put... Luke Erdman, yeah. tiny little Luke Erdman. You look at him, you don't think that he's uh, he's Muhammad Ali in, yeah. in, in a football uniform. And guess what? He took it right through their defense, slice and dice him all the way to the end zone. That's one of my favorite plays. No Man. doubt. Lee gets a snap. He's looking to Come on, get there. That's, all. That's a bad hold. hold. Back to his right. He has some room to run. He's going to still try to throw. Now he's going to run. Inside the 30, down about the 27, steps out of bounds. 34 seconds left in the game. It's going to be a first down, Simon Kenton. They've got, I believe, one timeout left, maybe two. Lee gets again, gets the play. 
<coughs> Man, what a football game. Two weeks in a row. Yeah. I didn't think we could top last week, I but uh, you know, well, this, one's, this one's pretty close. Lee gets a play call. Darrell Turner joins him in the backfield. Three receivers to his left. Brady Lee gets a snap. He's going to fake it to Turner, do a reverse now, and they're going to throw it. The old Philly special down in the end zone. Draw. Oh, he was oh, open. Number 35 oh, threw the man. ball. That was Tyson Weaver to an open receiver in the end zone just through his hand. Just missed it. Just yep. missed it. And a nice play call, and I think, you know, you, you kind of throw that into maybe some of the stuff in the middle of the game. They can complete that. Uh, but, man. Yeah. That was a near miss right there for Simon Kenton. So 26 seconds remaining. Second down and 10, 58-48, Beachwood with a 10-point lead. Ball still spotted on the Beachwood 27. Lee still in the shotgun. Simon Kenton still hurrying up. Nothing's changed. Lee gets the ball, looks to his left. Has some time, throws down the middle, complete. Down to about the five inside the 10. Clock is going to run. If see if Simon Kenton has a timeout, they'll probably use it now. They do. Simon Kenton uses their timeout. The ball is spotted inside the 10-yard line at the Beachwood 6. 18 seconds left to go in this football game. Tyson Weaver on the reception there. He was the one who threw the pass on yep. the last one there. Wow. I guess. Uh, well, listen, I, one thing before you say that, yeah. I, you do have to. Uh, you got to admire Simon Kenton's. Uh, they're they're uh, not backing down yeah. and continuing to fight, uh, knowing what they're facing. Uh, you know, having to figure out how in the world you defend this team. Yeah. Man, I mean, uh, a 10-point lead, so even if Simon Kenton scores here, they'll probably have to go to one. They'll have a three-point lead, onside kick, something funky coming, but the, again, they have to get in the end zone. The ball is spotted on the beach with six. Simon Kenton, not, uh, our uh, timeout counter is wrong on the scoreboard. That might have been their last timeout Simon Kenton used. Beachwood has one as well, but they're not going to use it. Simon Kenton coming out here, again in the shotgun. Turner to his right. Turner might get this ball. They might even try to run this, Murph. Wouldn't be Man, shocked. I think they should throw it to Abba Salam off the, <laughs> off the line. I mean, give him a touchdown just for the, the game he's played tonight. <laughs> really? Lee gets the snap. Rolls to his right. Has Turner blocking. Still looking. Throws to his right. Caught touchdown. It. Simon Kenton. 12 seconds to go in the game. Turner with a nice completion there. A six-yard touchdown pass. Makes the score 58-54. See what Simon Kenton does. Are they going for two? They might be. Don't see a kicker out there yet. No, I think they're going to. I think they're going to kick this. And that uh, that was a Lee was is still out there. That was Carter Blades on the uh, reception. The Lee is still out there. there. They're going for two. Lee lines okay. up. Turner to his right. Twelve seconds ago, 58-48. Again, hands it to Turner. Turner. No, who made that Stop play? Stop short. Stop short. Jack Meyer. Jack, Jack Meyer. Meyer great a play. So. Four-point lead for Beachwood will stay right here with you. 12 seconds to go in the game. Simon Kenton is going to be kicking off. I can guarantee you an onside kick is yep. coming again. So uh, right there, you have to give credit to uh, Jack Meyer. Um, you know, he did yes, exactly what tackle. Who, you know, the, the, the old coaches will tell you, okay, if they're going to they're gonna trap you, just follow, follow the trapping guard and tackle and, and hope that you can grab an ankle. <laughs> and, and Jack, uh, you know, with that speed, he, he followed the trapping tackle and was able to wrangle down Darrell Turner. That's a big play right there, Mark Talley. Man. Because again, that the, the, yeah. the, the, uh, the kicker, Garnett, for Simon Kenton, he's got a leg. He yeah. can make a, a medium range field goal yeah. if you give him a chance. Four point lead field goal does Simon Kenton no good. The 12 seconds on the clock does Simon Kenton no good. Yep. And they're going to try an onside kick here, see what happens. I think Simon Kenton has one timeout left. Beachwood has one. We're not going to use that for sure. Yeah. And if we can get this field, this onside kick, it's ball game. So they're going to be kicking it towards Tyler Fryman, Luke Erdman, Chase Flaherty right behind them. Uh, looks like Xander Regler, actually Regler and Fryman on the front line, and Erdman and Flaherty right behind them. Let's see if they try to do something ah, tricky here. The Beachwood Tigers, we did okay. call a timeout. I was wrong. We did call our timeout. <laughs> so, so we'll stay right here with you. 58-54, Beachwood leading Simon Kenton. Simon Kenton is uh, lining up for an onside kick. Beachwood called a timeout. Catch our breath. Yeah. I, I've aged uh, 15 years in two weeks here, Murph. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm blown away at these last two weeks of games. 
Just wow. blown away. And we got the Covington Catholic Colonels coming here one week from tonight. We'll be kicking that game off 7.30 Friday night again. Yeah, that'll be a big one. Willie Rodriguez, yeah. Owen Lean, and the boys. Yes, um, sir. Mark, this is the ninth time that Beachwood and Simon Kenton have played since 2001. Beachwood leads the series 6-2. Uh, to two Wow. Including uh, winning the last three matchups by an average score of 35-16. to 16. Wow. Last year, uh, Beachwood knocked off Simon Kenton 30-7 to seven in that game. Uh, uh, Mitchell Berger landing air with two rushing touchdowns apiece. Chan uh, Cash Horney at the helm at quarterback yeah. in that game for the Tigers. All right, here we're, we're back for the kickoff. Simon Kenton's lining up. Looks like an onside kick. They got close last time, Mark. Yeah, they sure did. Let's see, let's see how they handle this one. 12 right. seconds ago. The kick. It is onside. It's bouncing. Didn't do Climbing. it. Climbing. got it. Oh, it. Oh, 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 it was muffed. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. It was a lot of guys in there. See who the I think Fryman has it. it. I think Fryman has it. Oh, oh my goodness. They got Kenton's it. has got the ball at the 40 wow. line. But Carter Blades. We're going to have to double check how many timeouts uh, Simon Kenton has. They have eight seconds on the clock. They trail by four. Xander Riegler is very upset. He thought he had the ball. Ref said he did not. The ball is spotted on the Beachwood 49. Give them credit. Fantastic onside kick executed there by uh, Simon Kenton. Tyler Fryman tried to, you know, get it. It's a tough ball. It's bouncing. Now they caught a personal foul on Beachwood. Oh, not great, Martelli. So they're going to mark off some yardage more. Let's see where they put it. The ball is going inside Beachwood's 40. They're going to spot it at the Beachwood 34. So now okay. the ball is at the <coughs> Beachwood 34. How many timeouts does uh, Simon Kenton have left? I think they've one. Done one. They got one okay. timeout left, I was told. Mark the refs are they're coming over. All right, one then. timeout each, they're saying, or they're saying 11 seconds on the clock. They're putting 11 seconds on the clock. I don't know why. The ball was touched, but they're saying put 11 seconds on the clock. And the... They're doing it now. It is. A classic They're game here, Beachwood Martelli. All right, Beachwood in three a receivers. 4-3-2 four, four, defense right now. Linebackers about eight yards off the ball. Brady Lee gets a snap. Three receivers to his right. He looks to his left. Looks to his left. Oh, it's tipped. It's hot. Tips it's it's it. It. No. no incomplete. It down. Incomplete. It down. Seven seconds left to go in the game. Second down to ten. Simon Ken has one timeout left. They're not going to use it now. The clock stops on an incomplete pass. 58-54, Beachwood leading. Simon Kenton's got the ball in the Beachwood 34. They got to get, get a big play here. Field goal does them no good. Uh, they almost might have to chuck this to the end zone I here, Murph. I think that was I think that was Nick Alexander that tipped that. And they, the coach will always say, if you can't get to the quarterback, get those arms up and knock the ball down. Here we go, Martelli. Empty backfield. Brady Lee in. Two receivers to his left, two, three to his right. He rolls back. He looks. Throws deep down the field. Has a receiver open. Beachwood Tiger open. Simon Kenton incomplete. That's it. Let's see. Let's see if they signal the game. That'll do it, Martell. Oh, game. Man, I tell you, I think that was Erdman down there on the deflection of Beachwood Tiger. Got his hands in there. Are they saying it's over yet? Ah, the they're talking the about it. They might give it. Time out. Game That's is it. over. Ball game. Beachwood knocks off Simon Kenton 58-54 here at Beachwood High School. A classic, a Friday night classic. Wow. Beachwood with the win, moves to 4-0 on the year. Simon Kenton. Drops to one and two, and Mark Talley, I, there's, there, we, we don't have enough time in, the, in this evening no. before we both pass out to talk no. about all the things that led to this win. Uh, but what a game. Unbelievable football games two weeks in a row. I tell you what, this team has heart. They dress 38 guys. Their best player, senior leader Xavier Campbell, gets hurt in the first play of the second half, gets carted off the field, and uh, the Tigers come in with fight and spirit and, and spunk and get the victory. <coughs> oh, they won one for Xavier, didn't they? Yes, they I mean, sure did. And, and I, can, I can guarantee you, knowing how, how much this Tiger squad loves Xavier Campbell and how much they look up to him as leader, I can guarantee you the conversations while he was down and getting taken care of, I can guarantee you those conversations were very much about we're going to go win this one for Xavier. Yes, sir. We're going to make sure that we walk away with the victory and the resiliency and, again, the toughness that we've seen from this squad uh, matches anything I've ever seen in, in, a, in a Beachwood athletic uh, arena. I mean, just a tremendous job by these young men. And if Xavier Campbell, I if you would, your, your parents are tuned in, we love you. We love you, all the world. Hope that you're okay, bud, and 
this team won a great game yeah, for you, yeah, brother. And if you're listening, buddy, they did it for you. We and love you, man. We can't wait to see you back on the field. Glad, and we're hoping and that the reports we're getting that you're okay. But what a big win here tonight at Beachwood. An absolute, Whew. absolute classic. Man, barn burner game. We'll be back one week tonight, 730 against Covington Catholic. Um, I might have to get uh, some kind of heart pill or something prior yes, to that yes. game. Um, a, a couple things I want to point out before we before we log off. What do we got? A couple things um, in terms of uh, you know just some individuals that really help bring this one home. I mean you know we're obviously Tyler Fryman's game. Yep. Incredible. Yeah, you know, four you, touchdowns. You, you spend so I believe he had, it was three or four. Three I don't four. know. I honestly I lost yep. track. And we uh, guys we don't <laughs> have the luxury of a stat sheet or active sheets. And 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 this one was uh, you know is kind of scrambled my brain. But uh, Tyler Tyler Fryman, amazing. You know you talk about the the game Luke Erdman had uh, to the first half he had uh, the game overall. But you know when you have a player like Luke Erdman, you have to cut defenses have to. And, you know, think, you know, they got to, it's got to be kind of two guys, one guy yeah. guarding him and then a, a guy behind kind of taking care of him. And you wonder how much that impacted uh, Tyler Fryman getting him open yeah. and him having the, you know, the, the game of his life. Great play. Uh, just a, a great game by Tyler Fryman. Uh, the offensive line, again, a tip my cap to both Bro Brody Waddell and Maddox Kelly. Um, again, when Xavier uh, went out, they, they brought in Brody Waddell. Uh, they, they slid Maddox over to left tackle yep. to uh, take on one of the best defensive linemen, if not the best defensive lineman in the state, Nabasom. Um, uh, you know, and Maddox, as big as he is, has given up a lot of size there. Yeah. And they put Brody Waddell in at right tackle. And again, Mark, both those guys, first time varsity yeah. offensive line starters, yes. um, you know, for to, to be able to handle their business the way they did the rest of the game, I tip my cap to those guys. Yeah. Outstanding job. Um, Colson Lair again. You know, you talk about forty-three yeah. yard field goal. Yeah, you talk about the. the, the I mean, just just Soft sensational. Um, you know, and and uh, and again, I just kind of revert back to. Well, uh, bef actually, before I get to Clay, let's talk about Chase Flaherty. You know, I, I, I again, we don't have the stats. My guess is he had, he had seven. Seven catches and you know probably close to if not over a hundred yards. So um, you know they they kind of they used him to to really kind of you know uh, you know kind of balance the the rushing attack the the, the blitzing that Simon Kent was doing. Yeah. It really made a huge difference in the second half. Um, and again that knows that he's got for the end zone. I mean he played a great game yes, tonight. One of the better games he's played no doubt. overall. And then Clay Hayden, Mark. Yep. I mean he's the best quarterback in the state. I mean, I, I, mean I, I just you can't say enough about how just many touchdowns he had today? Five? I think he had six. Maybe he had yeah. six and I know he was over four hundred yards yeah, again. Easy. easy. He might have he might have been five hundred yep. to be honest <laughs> with you. I mean the, he might have beat last <laughs> week. Um, you know we were way off last <laughs> week <laughs> we were. about the end zone and my yeah. guess is we're, we're off again. But but uh, just you know, showing the stuff of a uh, of a of a future next year Mr. Football candidate, yeah. uh, showing the stuff of a, a Division One quarterback. Yep. Um, you know, just poise, uh, poise, 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 toughness, um, and again leadership. You yeah. know, he's. When he's out there, you know, they're, they're, he's leading the show. No and that offense, you know, you put up 58 points, you put up, f uh, you know, the 49 last week. I mean, it's it's not easy to do that against, a, you know, a team like this, against a team like Dixie, who, by the way, Dixie battled Cub Cat tonight yep. 31 to 24. So yep. that win looks even better now sure. because they went and, and they, they went, for, you know, they went 15 rounds with Cub Cat no tonight. Doubt. So, no doubt. Uh, yeah, Clay Hayden, I mean, and just a and here's uh, another tremendous, one, tremendous start to his junior season. Here's another one. Luke Erdman's 50 Luke Erdman. wild yeah. Wildcat run is the difference in this ball game. Yeah. If he doesn't score that touchdown, unbelievable. And I, I, and you know, honestly, I, I can't. I can't wait to talk to Greg Hurd about that one because again, that was <laughs> you know that's um, you know again cojones, <laughs> Martelli. <laughs> yeah. You know, you're, you're putting you're putting your guy and your guy, and you know at this point, yep. you know that Jay Volker and and, uh, and and Greg think so highly of Luke, and they're just like, all right. Here we go. We're gonna put the, <laughs> we're gonna put the ball in the hands of our best skill position player, and we're gonna say, let's see what you can do, buddy. Because wow. they thought, you know, they thought he's gonna run the ball right through them, the, and that's exactly what he did. Unbelievable. In a big time situation a against situation. a six a yep. a six a team that is, and again, these guys, these guys, yeah, three weeks ago they beat Dixie too. They yep. beat them. They came back from nineteen to seven down yep. and beat them 27, 27 to nineteen. Yep. You know, so this <laughs> just really, and also in fairness. I want to tip my cap to uh, Simon Kenton Pioneers, um, in particular the offensive line, yeah. in particular Abba Selm and and Jake Puthoff. As a as a uh, as a University of Kentucky football fan, 
man, I'm so glad that he's going to Kentucky because yeah. that what I saw of him tonight.